As I went down in the valley to pray, studying about 
comes to end the war. Oh, killing a god. Oh, bottomless abyss. It's the ultimate nothingness with death is bliss. Wolf time. Wolf time.
Ah, uh, hello, 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 and uh, welcome to the 334th episode of uh, the UCW show. Check the title. Men are done protecting women. They're done. They can't. They they have no interest anymore in defending, protecting, providing. Rubbing emotional salve on the wounds of gaping puniti holes. Of women that do not submit to them. Women that aren't their family. Women that aren't giving them puniti. Even look at Hunter Avalon. <laughs> he's not protected. Well, I don't think he's ever really protected a woman before. But he is a result of the current system we have. He is an effeminized emasculated demasculated possibly castrated male feminists male feminists are unable to protect women because male feminists are unable to <sighs> recognize the number one danger to a woman's life not like you know her at her like instant moment oh she's gonna die now the entirety of her life the number one threat to a woman's well-being her entire life 80 years whatever it be is herself is herself and so if they can't recognize that danger they can't protect them from it and if it's the number one danger male feminists cannot protect women they can't there's not enough laws you can pass to stop migrants from having sexual emergencies. There's not enough protests you can go to to stop dudes like me from smashing and dashing and ghosting them in a cloud of kush. There's not enough petitions you can make to stop women from wasting away their eggs. There's not enough tweets and hashtags you can do to stop women from associating with groomers and getting groomed. You can't, you can't protect them. But we're not going to talk about how male feminists can't protect women. We're going to talk about how strong men are refusing to protect women. Right? But before we start, before we begin, if you want to support the show, if you want to support the channel, The Warband, consider donating to cashapp.cashineundachronic. That's cashapp.cashineundachronic. The link is pinned. Let's pull up the old Bruda machine and ask them if they want to join. Let's see. Hmm. Wanna join? I think, I mean, Hammerhand, if you don't, if you can't join, I think after a couple segments, you're going to want to join. <laughs> just, I'm just saying, I got some banger segments tonight. I'm hoping to do a bunch. Don't really have anybody calling in um, to debate me. Not planning on. Uh, Fighting the devil, hopefully. But if I do fight the devil, I'm going to pull the mic cord as far as I can to the devil's location. Then I'll drop it. Then I'll fisticuff him. So that's the plans if he shows up. Let's see. Try to talk last time on the chronic link would not work last stream, brother. Um, oh, you talked StreamYard? Yeah, it was probably full. It probably got full. Let's see. I hope there's evidence of, sti of Sticks, Hex, and Hammer being a piece of shit. I have the evidence. I have videos. I have pictures. I'm just, uh, I'm just waiting for my retainer to assess the situation. We'll say it like that. Chronic B, a Doom Slayer, Maxing. Um, let's see here. Post not clarity. Chronic, the only thing I would try to debate you is nonlinear dynamics. Well, I'm not. I'm not, uh, <laughs> I don't think I have an opinion on that, so it wouldn't be much of a debate. Neil is currently going nuts with censoring text, so many of my innocent texts are getting blocked for no reason. Neil, is that the, is Neil the new CEO of YouTube? Is that the case? Let's see here. No word from Hammer or Chaz. I wasn't planning to have a co-host this stream. Whenever Hammerhand shows up, I gotta give him the nod.
we'll give it um we'll give it like three more minutes guys i'll just read chat for three more minutes and we'll get straight into the segments i'm trying to get enough segments to fill the weekend up with chronic content man let topia k okay, plan waiting for that perfect moment to strike let's see what else we got here chronic the only thing i would debate you on is about Chaz. well I'm not sure I want to hear slander against uh, Chaz. So that wouldn't be a debate. What we got here? Yeah, it says, Chronic, what are you going to do for 420? I'm going to take these two useless mutts out on a long hike. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm sorry, Portuguese. Um, I understand the movement you're trying to start. But I don't want people um, encouraging violence against individuals in my chat. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to time you out, bro. You can keep that shit on your channel. But I don't want to lose. Uh, look, let me lose my channel by my mistakes. Let me get hammered. Let me get blazed. Let me say some stupid shit and lose my channel. I don't want to lose it because you want to do some stupid shit. You can do that on your channel, bro. Uh, what else we have here? K Plan says, Are you better, Chronic? I'm much better. My dogs are better. My um, lever action dis uh, <laughs> lever action shotgun is much better. We're all good. We're all good. Let's see. What else we have here? Chaz says, F Chaz, I hate that. Re <laughs> I hate that art hard. That's some funny stuff. We got, ooh, we got, oh, we got the, we got two bull. What's up, bros? What's up, Grigas? We got two of them up in this hey, cage. <laughs> What's up, Chaz? How you doing, man? Uh, I learned, uh, hey, I learned the value of keeping a bunch of. <laughs> uh, value of what? <laughs> I got them. Bro, are you, are you I, good? I learned the value. Gray, are you sauced? No, I had I had the mainstream plan, so I had like it was a bit desynced. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. It sounded like you were yeah. heavily sauced. Yeah, no, I basically I, I was hearing myself <laughs> be talked over by the past. So <laughs> crazy. What we got here. What do we have yeah. in the chat? No, no, no. action is harder to use in the prone position. I don't really ever get. I mean, look, I'm usually um, how do I say this? I'm usually shooting animals. That doesn't work, does it? No, that doesn't work. I'm usually sh uh, shooting non-hominid <laughs> hominids, so I don't have to like go in the prone position. But if I'm like gonna be shooting hominids, um, it's gonna be with a pistol. You know, I'm not really carrying rifles around, or I guess even in a self-defense situation in my house, if I'm using a shotgun, I'm not gonna go prone. I'm not fucking playing Call of Duty. I know it's a smart thing to do. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Anyhow, what we got here? Uh saw my wife in a thumbnail and clicked. Chronic, you never go prone just to feel cooler? No, actually never. Um Maybe if I'm hunting big dangerous not even dangerous game. You don't wanna be prone if you're gonna try to hunt a bear because you want another bear to get behind you and you know, give the old struggle snuggle. What's about being prone? isn't super advantageous if you think about it like if you're going prone at most you're trying to lower your profile of receiving return fire well it's kind of like you go prone if you're trying to make an extra long shot but maybe for deer maybe for like if you're a military sniper but most of the thing like look a 45 70 doesn't really have a long effective range because it's such a big bullet so don't need to go pro. Um, let's see here. Did the skinwalker give you sloppy top? <laughs> <laughs> I need that when dussy, bro. I need it. <laughs> no, we got some. Uh, we got some pretty good. You guys, let me know. Let's see who he says. Oh, yeah. Hammer wants to join, so we'll get Hammer in here shortly. I got some great look, guys. I got some fucking brilliant segments. Too. Oh, hell yeah. You got some great ones. Yeah. And it's like more, it's not just me calling someone a cuckold, although I might do that. <laughs> but it's, 
So let me just read this uh, article title for the boys. Um, let me send him the link. I don't think Hammerhand has the link. Let me send it to him. Let me just read you this article title so we can pre-discuss it. From the LA Times, STDs in LA <gasps> County are skyrocketing. Officials think racism and stigma may be to blame. I saw that one today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, let me, let me continue down the line of segments. Um, I got Sydney Watson making fun of red pill leaders for a minute and a half as she looks as her cheeks slowly melt off her face. I got this Wall Street silver guy asking if millennials will ever get married and then t- looking at the marriage graph per generation. I got this story about, and I, Chaz, I'm sure you've seen this. Am I the asshole for no longer walking my friend home to her dorm after she rejected me? I have not seen that one. Oh, you haven't? <laughs> but- but based got a sad story about um this dude whose wife strangled her three children to death and then he ran a race in a memory it's a post-race interview i got a uh christ cuck tweeting out i can't tell you how gay it is that men are giving up on marriage <laughs> okay i got um <laughs> a pink-haired feminist 30-year-old female saying um, talking about how men are abusing women on a train and other men are doing nothing. Okay. And I got, here's the, here's the one Gray. you'll really like this one. I'm trying to interview this guy. This dude has a wife, but he's like making this device that senses depth and like combining it with AI girl. This is weird. Anyhow, he's been like, his campaign is AI women are women, right? Trans women are women. AI women are women. <laughs> and I have his opinions about it. So we got AI women, bitches getting smacked up by drug addicts on the train, offended nobody saves them. Cindy Watson being a thought and uh, STDs in LA County. Oh, we got the man himself. We got the man, the legend, the MGTOW monk, the man with the bald head that even shunned Apollo as he blazed his solar rays down on it. We have Hammerhand, the MGTOW monk. Man, fuck Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bitch-ass pussy. <laughs> I'll punch that bitch with a lightning bolt. Fuck him. Yep, yep. How you doing, man? I'm chilling, brother. How are you doing? How are you guys doing, man? How was your uh, How was your sermon yesterday? Did I didn't see it live? Did it? Do you do one? Uh, I thought it was pretty good. You know, we we always get a very decent turnout over there. Now we had over a thousand. We almost touched eleven hundred on a Thursday. I mean, that's not bad. Touching eleven hundred on a Thursday. Are you yep. on an island? Uh, not that <laughs> island. <laughs> what you gonna take me there for? I didn't I'm join for this. Sorry. Well, no, 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 no. Jeffrey Epstein would take you there. Okay, wait. Well, you, yeah, well, he'd have a fight on his hands. Wait, let me intro this here. Okay, Hammerhand. Did uh-huh. you see the news of the leftist protester in New York City? Uh, you talking about Mister Inflammatory? Do you, are you watching Flame the live on. stream? Dude, no, I'm not watching the live stream. No. Okay, let me um. Let me send you the picture, guys. It's uh, it's on the live stream. You two can react to it real quick. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Wait, you see it? <laughs> yeah, I see it. Okay, good. Yes. Look, I am, I am so happy right now. I thought one leftist turning himself into a Roman candle was enough to kind of just make me feel better about everything. You know, have a bad day at work, flat tire. My dog pooped in the house. I'm like, well, let me watch a feminist self-immolate, make myself feel better. Now I got two. I mean, like in the space of what, like three weeks, four weeks? Uh, I think like two months, three months, something like that. Yeah, man. We need to accelerate this process and make feminists feel like they want to burn themselves up too. Yo, I need to go to the next leftist protest and be like, gasoline, get your gasoline, one dollar <laughs> on a gallon. They're like... A dollar a gallon. <laughs> Wait, a dollar a gallon? How Holy are you making? Shit. How are you making money off of this? <laughs> I'm just like I'm, I'm doing it as a service to the community. <laughs> what a bunch it's of for goats! Duty. For goats! Can't stand them. Can't stand them. The, the faster that these people burn themselves up and jump off of bridges and stop fucking up my life, uh, the better. Look, it's New York City. Um, 
only rats live in New York City. Some walk on four legs. Some walk on two legs. True enough. Can you imagine being so deluded that you think your death is going to result in anything other than a one-hour bump in somebody's numbers? You know Nobody what? cares about did this. You, did you read his manifesto? Of, no, of course not. Uh, I, I, it, just, it's, I, I read like the recap. It's so funny. I'm like, this is about Palestine or, or Trump. Or no, no, no. The dude was just like, there's a government conspiracy causing hyperinflation, and it's crypto's fault. <laughs> he killed himself. You, know, you know what? This wigger killed himself because he lost all his money on some <laughs> shit coin, bro. <laughs> Wait, Look, really? This is not funny, Wait, but is, it's just is that like, actually why he did it? No, like he, he said um, that he basically said government is buying crypto. And the money they is are. the money supplies is being tripled or whatever it is is causing <laughs> hyperinflation and you know crypto's the devil it's a Ponzi scheme and he was going to self immolate in protest of crypto basically. So someone just, on Twitter took a, you know copied his NFT JPEG and he got pissed off about it. Something like that. Go on, Hammer. Yeah, I just think that it's it's absurd. You, it, you're not going to change anything by volunteering to die. You know, but then again, I mean, there's there's a lot of people out there that are volunteering to die every day, you know, or get themselves mutilated or whatever. There so, was a solid mid, right? Like I'm talking five or six out of ten, a woman who was attractive enough that tons of men were basically bemoaning the fact she was going to eat herself. And she did assisted suicide in, um, God, what was it? Some northern Canada? European country because uh, she was autistic and had a hard time making friends. Well, Look, man, I mean, if these countries are willing to open the door for you to yeet yourself, Canada right now, they're front and center with it. And Holland's doing it. I mean, all of these countries are doing this shit now. It'll it'll make its way over here. I think assisted, Gray, you can, if you know, you can correct me. But I think assisted, medically assisted death or medically assisted, what do they call it? It's like medically assisted euthanasia. Suicide. Yeah, suicide. There's some term. Yeah. They, well, you know how Made. leftists you know how leftists work camera hand. They don't talk. Oh, yeah. They don't they say chopping off a boy's penis. They say gender affirming. Affirming. Care. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is not okay. It's not. A, it's not assisted suicide for them. It's affirming your afterlife process. It's made. Yeah, medical assistance and dying. I think that's what they call it. Yeah, it was like the number two cause of death in Toronto last year. <laughs> that's unfucking believable. Damn. It's unbelievable. Maybe it's it was like three or but it's four. Unbelievable. It was definitely top Crazy. five. There was, a, you know, these Canadians just, they're trying to be nice, but, you know, when, you know, uh, diverse migrants are pooping in the streets, you can't be nice to them and they just have a I, mental break. I know some really decent Canadians, you know, well, some of them are in the chat right now, but uh, besides them, uh, Canada can kind of go fuck itself because they're leading the world right now in this degenerate shit. Yeah, it's like these leftist countries, they kind of like, it's like an RPG, they specialize in different branches of tomfoolery. Canada oh, yeah. is definitely the the maid, um, assisted suicide stuff, and the, you know, seizing bank accounts of protesters. They're, they're pretty much on top for that. Oh, yeah. The, the UK is um, definitely number one for hate speech, arresting people for hate speech, and letting children get great by migrants. The U.S., I think what we specialize is in is the North American land pick. Our bitches are the most disgusting. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. Hey, man. man it, it, yo, it's a party out there. You know, Canada has the slut walk. We're going to have the slam pig fest. I, I saw a woman in a micro bikini today. Oh, God. Hammerhand. Was she, was we we could have right? used the three oh, flags man. they fly they flew on the U.S. Indianapolis before it sunk. And all the sailors uh, got eaten by sharks and wrapped her in it, uh, and it still would have been considered a micro bikini. That's how big oh, this bro. bitch was, bro. <laughs> oh, bro, that's just that's fucking tragic. I like, I like put my ear outside and I heard. <laughs> you know what I was hearing, Hammerhand? The sidewalk <laughs> no. was crying. I don't want to hear it no more. It's making my fucking face hurt. The tectonic plates were like, "This is too much." <laughs> We gotta bro. stop this, man. Bro, you must affirm my fatness, or else. Yeah, so we basically had another leftist protester. And here's the thing. It's such so clearly like a – like no one's going to talk about crypto being a source of inflation, right? No one's 
No one's going to really read his manifesto and be like, this is a problem. We got to change it. This dude lost all his money to some shit coin. He's like, I can't believe I lost my life savings to Obama coin. I, I thought it was gonna. I, th I thought it was gonna make me rich. Uh, Grig, but trust me, Grig a coin. That's worth investing in. All your money, just do it. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, I think he lost all his. This is like the stories of the stockbrokers throwing themselves out of the skyscrapers oh, during, yeah. uh, you know, what was it the Black Friday with the all Great the stock depression? Crash. Yeah, Great Depression. Yeah, it's the same kind of thing. But to self-immolate outside the Trump trial, like you could just tell all the leftist news agencies were just like, please be about protesting Trump. Please protest white supremacy. And this absolute fool was just like, it's actually Bitcoin's fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you know, leftists are salivating, man. They they absolutely want somebody to come up and try to pop Trump and and then try to kill themselves and then talk about uh, I'm doing this for the country because we can't fall into Hitlerism. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Um, these these boomers and I say boomers as in like hardcore Republicans that right on they're kind of they bought into the cult of personality of Trump. It's anything Trump says is right. Those kind of people. Yeah. If they like look, if you eat Trump, Trump is the Trump is like the nice version of this anger. Like he's the he's a New York Democrat, basically. Yes, he is. He's so a, he's if a venture you capitalist. Violently eat him in public, you are going to at, at the very least kick off major terrorist activity in the United States. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. And it's look, there's not going to be any coming back from that. I mean. The country is going to break and you're going to have balkanization and you're we're we're there right now just without the gunfire. Mm -hmm. So what's the thing? Like, as long as Trump is around, large groups of the U.S. population will think we can vote our way out of this mess. Correct. That's absolutely you take, correct. You take Trump out of it. They're finally going to have to accept. No, there is no voting our way out of this. We're absolutely no. fucked. You're not you're not voting your way out of this. This is uh, this is engineered all the way from the get go from the start. You know, the decline of this country and its its internal politics uh, started back before our Civil War. So but Hammerhand, uh -oh. I, I'm I'm a red blooded American patriot. I was told <laughs> voting was 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 God's will. I've been voting every day. I, I voted multiple times and I do a write in vote when I say I'm going to vote. I say I'm voting to make my penis four inches longer. It, it, it hasn't worked yet, Hammerhand. What well, I thought voting worked. Well, you know, I mean, if we had mail in penises, it might work, but we don't have that. So at least not yet. Well, because that's, that's falling apart, too. Well, that's the story. Speaking of falling apart, we'll wrap this segment up. We watched another male feminist flesh fall apart on Twitter. And I saved that video, and that's my mood-boosting video along with the other male feminists doing it in D.C. So thank you, male feminists, for giving yourself the most excruciating death possible so it, I can bring a smile onto my face whenever I'm feeling down. It's, it's just, just saves a couple stunning, hundred stunning. dollars in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Instagram therapist. I can just watch these two videos and just feel great. Just it's just absolute fucking insanity, you know. So you know who all of this propaganda is aimed at, man. It's aimed at the people that are going to break first, and they've come to find out. I'm sure that they knew this, but I think they've kind of played that it was going to be righties and and them Hugh White Supremes that were going to go to war. No, it's going to be all of the mentally infirm, the weak, and the feeble. And those are typically leftists or mm -hmm. the leftist type, the people that can't even stand to hear speech that uh, that they don't have an answer for. Though It's those people that are breaking. Yeah. And all of these mental fucking midgets, they're the ones that are breaking. We got a couple of super chats here. This is some RJ. He says, red pill abuses women, question mark. Feminism abuses children. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, that's kind of my argument. Uh, Maddie says... Sticks with black chick after cucked by drug dealer. Um, no idea about that. But I do have a video of him chasing his wife around his house with a sword. Talking to my lawyer about posting that. Broderick Black crazy. says, forget when dussy, get that demon lolly puniti, bro. Um, I can't support lolly. Um, no. 
in public or in private. But uh-huh. I appreciate your donation very much. I love the, uh, you know, it's, I love the, because the anime, because listen, the dudes with the waifus, they are so beyond the conversation of talking to real women. Like, we're talking about algebra, they're doing calc three. So they'll be they like, don't. they're like, look at this. I'm like, that looks like a 12 year old girl. It's like, but canonically, she's 10,000 years old. So really, she's grooming me. <laughs> 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 the, like, the yeah, things, you can always write your own history, right? Bro, the things they say, it's just a like a mental flashbang, and I just gotta like stop. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna engage with this conversation. Because like at the end of the day, lolly um imagery does not increase incidence of pedophilia. No. Child um designed sexual robots or dolls has been proven to reduce incidents of pedophilia, right? So Japan yeah, did a giant study where they, they uh, took a bunch of uh, groomers and they gave them child-sized sex dolls. And the ones they gave them to had a significant decrease in assaulting real children. So really all we have to do to reduce incidents of adults attacking children in a sexual manner is get over the feelings of women. That's it. Uh, I would agree with you. And uh, what did we say? I mean, shit, we've said this time and time again, man. I mean, if if the government wants to fix problems like this, they're doing, they're funding all types of debauched shit. Get hooker vouchers and pass them out. Hooker <laughs> vouchers. <laughs> I'm serious. You know, look, I'm not trying to advocate for debauchery, but if you want to fix these problems and, and stem this bullshit, just a little bit. Get hooker vouchers. Well, well hey, don't, uh, no. they don't care. Hammerhead, <laughs> we need to come up with a better phrase for these government handouts, right? Instead mm. of hooker voucher, let's no, call it left. the Puniti Pass. Okay. I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> well, let's, let's call it the well, Puniti Pass. Well, that way, here, here'd be my theory of that. Because, like, you know how men have to provide free labor to repay their debt to society in prison, right? Yeah. Well, now we have things, something for women to pay back. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of kind of weird. Do you know? You know, if something like this came to pass, and I don't think that something like this, if it were fronted realistically, that it would fail. I think that it would pass. The only motherfuckers that would be bitching about it are feminists. They're the only ones. They vote to kill kids, even as women are delivering children, but they won't vote to give some sex to a fucking guy that is awkward and inept. Well, let's be honest. Most male feminists are only male feminists because it believes that because they believe that it will give them access to Puniti. Yes, I, I agree with you. I, I, that's a big component of it. Yes. So, like, let's say, so, like, a male feminist is just a man who will sacrifice anything to get access to Puniti. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Oh, Hammerhead, I got exciting news for you. Oh, shit. This Tuesday, I have a traditional, conservative, Mm. pro-marriage woman Mm. calling into my channel to debate me. This is going to be interesting. (laughs) It's going to be great. (laughs) It's it's going to be interesting, man, because, look, there's, there's no argument that you can present to somebody that sees clearly that can control their biology to get them to marry. There's mm. no argument that you can present to them to involve the state in their marriage. There just isn't one. Let me get to the next segment real quick because you just said something that's basic. I got this data I want you to see. So I'll present my screen to you boys. Oh, let's see here. Entire screen. This entire screen. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Let me get the display capture for the boys, then we will uh I'll intro it real quick. You can uh, I can send you the link camera in too if that's something that would make it easier for you. Just let me know, man. No, that's fine. I'll just follow your lead. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. No One way. day I'll actually uh utilize OBS the way it's supposed to be utilized and 
we'll cut out the uhs and give me a sec and motherfuckers but like 99 percent on the show okay let me get to this let me get to this no, we have, shout out them 480 watching though bro we have a wall i mean in all honesty you're fine mother you know what i'm not blaming hammerhand i'm gonna blame chaz chaz i'm trying to fucking intro this segment <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding, man. But uh, let me let me enter this. So we have Wall Street Silver. He's um, an Israeli descendant who's conservative in a huge mm. Twitter account, which is funny because I don't really see a lot of actual white guys the huge Twitter accounts being conservative. But that's the subject for another video. And he talks a lot about inflation, you know, Bitcoin, all that kind of stuff. And he has this graph here, and it says, "Will millennials ever get married?" And here's the next question, right? So you see this graph. It's a um, percentage of Mar Americans married by birth decade. So let's just say when Americans were 20, if they were born in the 1940s, six, over over half of them were married. That's how this graph works. If they are born in the 50s, closer to 40%. If they were born in the 60s, it's mm -hmm. down to 30%. And mm -hmm. people born in the 90s. When they're 20, less than 10% were married. So well, there's Wall something, Street something Silver, wrong with this title. Wall Street Silver asks this. What went wrong with people born in the 1990s? Hammerhan, I'll let you answer the man first. <laughs> it's, it, there's something wrong with the premise of this. Uh, it, it didn't happen in the 1990s. The 1990s and the 2000s are the extrapolation of the events of the 1950s and 60s. So it takes that long to work its way through the society and the culture. Yep. You see, and it's a relentless drumming of a certain type of person against all other people. And once these folks get into the institutions and they institutionalize this line of thought, this is what you end up with. This is a natural extrapolation of the birth of real hardcore rad fem feminism. Now, let me let me give my angle to this. I completely agree. Do it. I completely agree. Do it. Chaz. Are you ready for math class? Sure. Okay. So we have all these decades, right? 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, right? Mm -hmm. His uh, question, what went wrong with people born in the 90s? He's kind of assuming that there's an outlier and there's an outlier ver uh, um, data point, you know? Mm -hmm. If you yeah, something specifically happened in the nineties that yeah. we can several things specifically happened, but it wasn't just in the nineties. So ahead. if it was if the nineties there was this huge thing that happened, which means Americans <sighs> didn't want to give birth, you would see a massive drop off compared to the eighties, seventies, sixties, fifties. But if you look at the graph, just kind of eyeball it, the drop is kind of it's Besides the first two, it's kind of equidistant, right? It's a consistent going yeah. down. Yeah, it's, it's a consistent, consistent decline. Yeah. Yes. So absolutely. And if you look at where the graph levels off, it almost looks like a log, log, kind of like a, a inverse log graph, right? This will like get up, reach its kind of peak, and then even out right there. Look at the nineties. If mm -hmm. I were to presume it's going to follow the same trend as the other decades, it's going to peak off maybe right here. So when you know, look at all the other generations. By the time they're forty-five, majority are married. The, the nineties, though, by the time they're forty-five, it's still going to be. I think it's going to be under fifty percent. Yeah, I agree. It's, so it's going to be way under that. Well, the argument, you know, what I'm trying to say, which Harrahan will agree with, he said it initially at first, is this isn't like it's not like you dropped a nuke and then you're you know you're tracking the number of uh, ground nesting birds in Hiroshima throughout the 1940s and then right. in 1945 it just dropped and there was some massive event like some nuclear bomb this is what feminism does feminism is a cancer on society now maybe it's not pancreatic cancer one that develops and spreads fast maybe it's just a classic lung cancer Maybe it's breast cancer. Maybe it's a skin cancer. And it just slowly destroys the body. It slowly destroys society. And right. it's been metastasizing and spreading and doing more and more damage every single decade. Because guess what? Since women got the vote, since feminists achieved their initial mission in 1919. Was it 1919? 1920. 1920. I love how we know feminist history more than feminists. <laughs> That's something else. Like, I had to educate Destiny on feminist history. 
Oh, but, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, but since they achieved their first holy mission, did they ever stop? No. 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 You, you have to make, with, with something like equal rights, uh, they want to stand on the same equal footing as men, right? Yes. Uh, legally and uh, in society, they want that. Uh, that has to morph and change, and you have to have a new boogeyman every 10 years or so. Otherwise, the funds for your already victorious feminism dry up. This is always just a money game. After the initial victory, when they achieved this success to get the right to vote, the 19th Amendment, when it was ratified, they, they won. They won. And everybody was for it. But you can't just let all, you can't let billions of dollars go. Mm -mm. So you have to have a new way to push this on people. Well, That's it's what they do. Even, even the, remove the money, right? When women have their problems solved, what do they do? They make new problems. Hey, yes, yes. They, they just. They, this is what I said, and I got a strike for it, but I'm going to say it again. Do it. Do bitches, it. bitch. That's what they do. <laughs> That's why you call them bitches. Okay. Bitches, <laughs> bitch. Now, not all women are bitches, but in 2024, um, you're, you're going to find a friendly crocodile before you find a, a woman that's not a, a bitch and bitch. You're fucking joking. And they just keep on moving on. Like the fact that in the early 2010s, feminists were concerned about man spreading. And it wasn't like a dude spreading their legs and like touching the sides of their legs. No, it was dudes spreading their legs on the other side of a subway. That was well, the problem. You know, they, they have this notion that because they don't have two pounds of swinging beef between their legs, that it shouldn't affect them too. You know, you want me to crush my balls and bend my dick in odd ways to satisfy your weird obsession with the way that my legs spread. Excuse me, ma'am. I am not on the pornography page of, let me look at the name, Big Bad Beard. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just, let me, let me just read a couple of the comments and uh, Hammerhand can react to it because um, sure. everybody's educating this guy about what's going on. Mark Zuckerberg parody says, divorce law destroys men. People follow incentives, as they say. Yeah, divorce law incentivizes women to leave men. Mm -hmm. You see, but that's not where it started. That's that's part of the puzzle that was put together to, to, to put one more boot on the neck of men. You know, good, these people that sit around in these think tanks and they think this fucking shit up, they have to find ways to constrain men. It's mm -hmm. always about men. And I'll never say that women aren't getting played too because they are. It's just in different ways. Yes. So Aurelio here says, they made w women work and taught them that staying home and having children in a nuclear family is oppressive. Now, correct. that has an influence on it, right? Of course. But that, that's the, a huge part of the graph that you're looking at right there. But even the most ardent feminist wants to get married. Anita Sarkeesian yeah. Had I was a about wedding to bring her up, yeah. Go on, Chaz. Tell, tell us. Oh, yeah. Anita Sarkeesian for her, what, 40th birthday? Instead of just getting a bottle of wine and getting shit-faced drunk, she decided to have a birthday party that had yeah, a theme a as dress. a wedding. Yeah. Like a wedding-themed birthday party. <laughs> who the what? fuck does that? <laughs> what? A I'll lot tell of you people who do does it. That. I, I would tell you who does it. A 40-year-old feminist who desperately wants to be married, but no one yeah. wants to marry her. Yeah. Who, who the fuck is going to step up to the plate and marry that harpy? Well, nobody, that's the, the, the kind of men that she doesn't want. That's right. I mean, I'm sure that there's volunteers, there's takers for it, right? But she doesn't I'm, want that man. So I think the fact that men are still willing to marry women that work and that are feminists, this decline up here, I don't think it's maybe 10%. Of the decline mm. is due to women being indoctrinated. I think it's due to men watching women stab their fathers in the back. I think that's the well, number that, one contributor. Men are wisening a, up to it. That's a huge component of it because you're seeing it happen, right? And you don't want to go down that road. Another huge component of it 
is the government offering money to women to discard men to mm -hmm. keep women dependent. And then what do you have? So you, right now you have three generations of single fucking mothers with no masculine influence in the house. And you've got all of those weird men running around. Let's let's give it three. Here's the three top reasons. And if you think there's a reason that is more influential than these three, let me know, Hammerhead. Yes, sir. In no particular order. One, women are indoctrinated not to marry. Whether or not it's a feminist boss bitch or a single mother that doesn't need a man, they're basically told by the government and society, you don't need a man. Two, men see women who do marry men, stab them in the back and destroy them, right? Yes. yes. Three is women's hypergamy with the onset of social media has been unchained. So, you know, they only want to marry and bang the top 20, 30 percent of men when they're youthful and fertile. Those three combinations, being, that's why in 19, in people born in the 1990s, they're not going to they're never going to have the majority of them married ever. No, no, I, I, I wouldn't think so at all, it, because the culture is saturated with this type of animus towards men. And you can see the way that they go in on white men. Matter of fact, with my Thursday sermon here, it was a white family that was going in on the white dad and white dad had put five million dollars into these hoes. Mm. Five million dollars. He had all the fucking receipts and they were just blatantly lying and trying to deceive an audience. Yeah. And she was just doing it for clout. She was just chasing clout off of her father. So last so comment. Just, us come or read out and hammer and give me your response to this one. Yes, sir. Truth Troll says men are starting to wake up and realize there's nothing in marriage for them. We have nothing to gain and everything to lose. Society has made marriage useless for men. And that's the first one. Like, you get it, right? The first two is like mm, divorce law destroys men. Yeah, I kind of agree. But it's more than just divorce law. It's yes. the way women act. It's yes. their decisions. And yes. You go, well, I, you know, these trad cons, this trad con I talked to on Tuesdays, so I wouldn't do that. I love my husband. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry that the most advanced science you took was basic biology. And the only thing you remember is the mitochondria is the powerhouse the of the cell. The powerhouse of the cell. Yeah. Let's fucking go. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I don't particularly expect women or weak men to understand statistics. But when I when, when I cite statistics, when Hammerhand cites it, they'll do a survey of 5,000 people. And they'll get, you know, divorce results, how women think about men, that kind of stuff. And it's very accurate to the wider U.S. population. And they go, well, that's just a stat. Well, I wouldn't do it. Okay, you have a personal story. These stats are representative of the entire population. And mm -hmm. when you're talking about actual progress, actual science, you know, stuff like what drug do you have to take to live in the hospital, they don't listen to personal stories. Personal stories are nothing. You look at statistics because it's the – accumulation of millions right. of personal stories correct you look for those patterns right it's repeatable verifiable science that's what you look for and even in statistics science works science applies yep yep so this is why men don't want to get married i'm sorry wall street silver you kind of you're kind of on the back of the bandwagon with realizing this is a problem and hammerhand what i'll say right now is we've been blessed man like when we started talking during the shield wall, none of oh, these yeah. right wing fucks would even talk about this. No, that's none. why I tell everybody that has an opportunity to see stuff like this. If you've been here, even if you've been here half the time, pat yourself on the back because your dogged and relentless nature to push this out there is making these fucking people talk about it now. You, they owe you everything. All changes that come in the future started right here on Undead Chronic 1, 2, 3, 4, Hammerhand 1, 2, 3, 4. Even with some of the scumbags that are fucking with me right now, I'll give them credit for what mm. they did. So, Wait, who's, you know, who's, who's fucking with you? Let me, let me. Messenger Rising, Mr. Lazarus. Yeah, you, you, know you post, is, like, apparently, was that the guy whose daughter doxed him? Yeah. 
Okay, what the, okay, tell me, because I saw that community post, I'm like, what the hell's going on? Can you give me, like, a little bit of the, the DL, like, what, give me the, the clip The short notes. and the sweet of it is, is this, this guy has been running his mouth for a long time about other men that he doesn't like, and when they claim that they're MGTOW and they're living by their principles, he says that they're not and that they're wrong, and that me and a few other guys years ago got together and said that this is not right for y'all, so you can't do that. And uh, he got a lot of pushback on it. He got his ass kicked in for it. And then he starts going after people's kids. And as it turns out, when you fuck around with people and their kids, they're going to fuck around with you back. So somebody found his daughter. Oh. And she's, she's an adult. She's grown. She doesn't like right? him? Well, <laughs> apparently, if this is true, apparently his daughter is bisexual and... He has a revulsion to that, and he has rejected his daughter, and she partially doxed him. So he came out a couple of days ago with a very quick community post and said that he, he'll not be hiding in the shadows anymore. Motherfucker, I was never hiding in the shadows. Mm. I always showed my face, and there's a significant portion of men that has always done that. I have nothing against people that don't do it because I understand what you can lose. That's why I don't give nobody shit about that. Look, Cameron, if I stay in the shadows, that means I'm like the thieves' guild, right? And yes, I sir. get to have the opportunity to arm rat traps and throw them on the scrotums of simps more frequently. I agree. And, you know, uh, hopefully there doesn't come a day where somebody gets a hold of your info and they, and they put it out there. But, it, yeah, his own daughter, like, partially doxed him. And it's to me, it's very believable. It's verifiable. I contacted her. I wanted to speak to her about it to, to make sure that it was legit. And it seems to be legitimate. Is she, so wait, this wait, guy wait, wait. Is, Most important question, is she hot? Uh, she bl blurred her face out. And Hammer I don't really know. DM to a woman, simp. Is she fat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. With the marriage hammer. Wait, wait, wait. Is she, is she fat? Is she fat? I, I don't know. I only saw the picture that she had verifying the, the wall paintings and stuff. It's the same wall, same wall paintings, and it's got his face in it. And okay, well, if she's... If I she's, only saw her from the shoulders up. If she's bangable and bisexual, maybe I'll dox myself by putting up a P-Hub link of me, her, and another chick. <laughs> Goodness, that would be terrible. That would be terrible. I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go for that. But, I mean, that's the long and the short of it, right? I mean, uh, don't don't fuck with people if your own house is not in order. And it just proves that the, the man has been in a humongous hypocrite for a long, long time now. And I, you know, I hope he gets his shit cleaned up because he, he did have a good reputation, but his reputation's blown the fuck up now. Mm. So he, he destroyed himself. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, um, yeah. hey, can you guys carry the show while I go to the restroom real quick? Absolutely. Hey, and have them so boys much. get in there and read some comments. Anybody. <laughs> anybody. 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 No, no. Sorry. I'm, this I'm one. playing on my Nintendo Switch right now. I have better things to do than yeah, reach. No, no, no. no I, uh, BF666 BF. I'm tall with a handsome face, but my hair quit while waiting for Wobbin to stop acting horrible. <laughs> you shave that fucking head and shellac that skin, man. Put your bald shine on. Well, yo, yo. That. I've been watching this. I've been watching this, this channel and it fucks with me terrible. On YouTube, where these women glue like weave on men's heads, I I can't stand it. I can't stand well, no, it. No, have, have you seen the new stuff where guys are like, you know what? If women can paint their eyebrows, I can paint my hair, and they're literally just taking fucking paint and sharpie and painting like hair and beard lines on. Good God Almighty, it's unbelievable, man. <laughs> Shinobi Wan in the chat. Lazarus has a dead channel, yet he still promotes trolls and hate on his fellow man. Yes, he does. And that was one of the things that I, I contacted her about uh, intentionally now, intentionally. I wanted to find out if there was something she medically was wrong with on this man. Friday night. Yeah, yeah. We, we know what you're trying to find out here. Man. I see what you're trying to do here, Chaz, and it will what not mean succeed. trying to do. No, you no, no. What, what are you trying to do? Beetle. What are you I'm, trying, I'm to trying to, do, to just get things solved, man. I mean, yeah, yeah. Go, like, go hey, are your you horn, free on Friday night? Retard. Well, oh. Uh, <laughs> He's not retarded. He's autistic. There's a difference. No, no, no. There is. I no stand correct. I, I am 100 percent retarded. I have no. I have no retort. No response. No comeback. I got God. I have to hold that out. Oh God Almighty! Yeah, no, man. I just I I can't stand channels like that because these these guys, man, when they're sitting in that chair and they're getting scalped and all of that shit is being shaved off the top of the hair, all the peach fuzz that they got left. 
and they, they got this bad look on their face. Like, oh, I'm so down. And then they put this, they glue this fucking weave to these guys' heads. And then they've got this smile. It's like, I'm so confident. I fucking hate it because it's just not real. It's not legit, man. Wait, I come legit. back. Wait, I come back and we're ball maxing now? Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, there's this channel. Yeah, there's this channel. Well, no, no, no we're hair, we're hair maxing. Yeah. We're anti ball maxing. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I guess. I don't know maxer. what the hell it's called. No, Hammer, Hammerhand is definitely about... Hammerhand's a bald maxer, and I respect that. Maxer. I respect that. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm a bald maxer. If you're balding, and look, if you're going for the Cletus that sells meth from a trailer park look, and you want the like the hairline to the mid of your head, yo, I completely understand that. You know, you do the your thing. Fucking right. skull it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> My, so my little brother, he is massive, right? He's the baby of the family. Mm. And he's like, I don't even know, 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, I don't remember. But he uh, he got recruited to multiple SEC schools for football. Congrats. And the, uh, you know, hit the summer of his senior year, so before he went to college, he's just like, I'm going to get a cut. I'm going to cut everything, you know. So he went bald. And this motherfucker <laughs> looked like a straight up from American History X. <laughs> it's like, good. We would good. be walking down the street and black dudes would cross the street when they saw it. <laughs> Look, man, it, it's, legit. Uh, it it's totally legitimate. When I, would, when I would walk the streets down there in South Florida, uh, people would cross the street to get away from me. I'm talking about six lane highways. You know, they don't <laughs> want to walk past you. They don't. I mean, bro, come on, man. Six foot fucking six and 400 pounds. Give me a fucking break. No, I mean, I cross the street, too. I'm like, that guy's bald. I don't want to catch the bald. <laughs> it's a bald gene. Get away from that fuck. Yeah, just, <laughs> just, yeah. So I bet you and my little brother would have an amazing conversation. Oh, it'd be fun. I can get along with anybody, almost anybody anyways. I hear it. I hear, there it is. I'm trying to relax my soul. I had to deal with some fucking demons the other day, bro. I heard about that. <sighs> and, you know, we got this one. I heard about wait, that. I, wait, did you see this? Uh, I ain't seeing nothing yet. Are you watching the stream or the stream yard? Oh, now I'm watching the stream yard. Um, yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me get that. Let me get that. Here's the this, big one. I, what the fuck do you say to that, man? <laughs> What do you say to that? You just, you just laugh. That's all you do. You just laugh. Okay. <laughs> These fucking let me, people let me are in, out let me there. In, let me intro this here. Let me intro this. From the LA Times, must reads, STDs in LA County are skyrocketing. You know, ever since 9-11, I feel like rockets and sky, skyrocketing is an offensive term. I'd really appreciate if you didn't ever use the term skyrocketing. <laughs> Officials think racism and stigma may be to blame. And of course, of course, you have an old white woman. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Probably of the uh, Hebrewish heritage. Maybe. It's hard to tell an old white woman. It's kind of hard to tell with her, but you know. Yeah. You got them high rise cheekbones, that it's a fucking skin that looks like it was stretched over a skeleton. Yeah, well, saran the, wrap skin. So much plastic surgery and Botox and just yeah. weird things and adrenochrome and rubbing babies' foreskins on their faces. It's just but hard to it, tell nowadays. They do it with pride. You know, some people in your chat might not understand that last reference, but that's a hundred percent legit. Yeah. So what do you th let me just let me pose this question to you, Hammerhead. Because we all know, sure. and when I say we all know, confirmed by the CDC, confirmed by state health departments, confirmed by the NHS in the UK, confirmed by every single major public health, even the WHO. Everybody knows SCDs are skyrocketing. Hammerhand. Oh, yeah. Why are SCDs skyrocketing? Uh, now, we have statistical data on this to support that women, women... 80 to 90 percent of them are fucking the top 10 percent of men. Mm. We have multiple articles that say that upwards of 50 to 60 percent of men haven't looked for dates, don't ask for sex, don't want to be involved with it. So mm. those men are out of the picture immediately. It's women that are fucking the same men and they're spreading the disease and they're trying to spread the wealth, too. Now, Hammerhand, has the prevalence of male on male sexual activity increased or decreased in the past 50 years 
Oh, well, it increased. By what? Two times? Three times? I don't know, but you know it's more. Let me let me let you, me let me make a guess. I mean, I think it's kind of close to the truth. I think compared to the fifties in the U.S., the incidence or prevalence of male on male sexual activity has increased by at least a thousand, if not more, fold. You know, I couldn't argue with it. I'd love to see something to back it up, but I couldn't argue with it. Well, if you just, because, I mean, you could just look at. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Free you can always just look world. at people who admit to be homosexual, admit not being like, oh, it's a, it's a horrible thing or whatever. I'm just saying people who say they're homosexual on surveys in the yep. 50s compared to today. I mean, I think what yep. is it, a third of all Gen Z is LGBT. Yeah, that's what they're saying. <laughs> yeah. Which, you know, which obviously you know where that's going to lead. So, so why – let me just do a little biology lesson. Why do men pass on STDs? much more frequently when they have sex with other men. Well, here's why. Uh, oh, uh, oh, go on, Greg. Go on, Greg. Because uh, they don't use condoms. That's, yes, that's a big part of it, right? But the nature of the sex is completely different. So yeah, that, instead of vaginal. a woman with an STD has a very low chance of giving a man the STD, as opposed to if a man had an STD, we would have a much higher chance to give the woman an STD. That's how that kind of that kind of rolls. So, when you have two men having sex in the vagina, it's not a sterile environment. There is a, it's a, a bread baker. Yeah, there's a combination of good yeast, good bacteria, good protozoans. Right? They call it the Gosh, what I'm trying to remember. I've talked to some medical students, but uh, like you know the the natural biosphere, the natural mm -hmm. micro microbiota, right? That's why they talk about good bacteria for a pungiti. Those guys will stop a lot of STDs from spreading, right? It's they'll still spread easily in a woman, but you don't really have a protective microbiota. In the rectum or colon right in fact you have a lot of blood vessels really close to the surface of the colon of the large that's, intestine because they're trying to this. suck up as much water as possible that's what the large right. intestine does it's that's why you have water. some of those uh, some of the uh, uh, injectables that go in the ass and some of the uh, enemas and some of the pills that are injected right there because it absorbs it so fast. Yeah, that's why when when dudes want to get drunk as possible, you butt chug. Yeah, well, I ain't doing that, <laughs> but, you know, I'll just take it through the mouth. Thank you very much. Pause, pause. No ditty, no ditty, no ditty. <laughs> no ditty. <laughs> no ditty. Yeah, so just, the you know, that could explain the rise of STDs. But initially, right, like what you said, Hammerhand, Women are sharing the top 10% of men. 5% of men are having 50% of the vaginal sex. Do you think they yep. get asked to wear a condom? No, of course not. I mean, you know, you know who's hoping to snag one of those motherfuckers? Anybody that opens their legs for them. Mm -hmm. So let's get to this. So this is Barbara Ferber, the newly appointed head of the L.A. County Department of Public Health. Okay, yeah, well, I'm not surprised. Let me read this. The teenagers tucked their hands into their sweatshirt pockets as they shuffled to form a circle. Some gazed at the asphalt, trying to avoid the game they had been drafted to play. It's like hot potato slash musical chairs, but with a penis, said the girl leading the group. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hammerhand, hammerhand, hammerhand. Fucking wait, 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 wait. Hammerhand, when you were in high school, if uh, hammerhand, if you were in high school and a girl said it's like hot potato but with penis. Would you like how shocking would that be to you? It it would have been pretty shocking to be yeah. honest with you. Yep, it would have been pretty shocking, and uh, that's the kind of bitch that you automatically you stay away from her. You make sure she she's earned her reputation. Mm -hmm. Let her fucking have it. Peace out. Yeah, Just peace out. The kids gathered on a spring morning. Okay, first of all, kids don't have sex. Adults do. If she's thirteen, if he's fourteen, they're banging other. They're that's an adult activity. I just, I don't consider that to be, they're not kids or teenagers. Very different distinction. The kids gathered on a spring morning in South LA were about to get a hands-on lesson in sex education. Okay. If I oh, was a sex educator good. and I was going to give a lesson, the last way I would describe it is hands-on. Come on, guys. 
Many health experts say the public health problems are best tackled outside the doctor's office, and that fixing the culture that perpetuates them is more effective than changing a single patient's behavior. For sexual health, that means combating the stigma around sex. So you want them to have more sex? Yeah. What, what, what? That, was the, that was the entire point of introducing sex ed under the guise of safety, quote unquote, to kids. And that was just starting to happen when I was in middle school. Okay, we're getting we're getting some we're getting into some groomer stuff. Oh yeah. The teenagers, the girl explained, would pass a plastic life-sized penis around the circle. Whoever was holding it when the music stopped would have to unroll a condom onto it, completing each of the eight steps they'd been taught a few minutes earlier. So you have actual pedophiles who yes. teach sex ed to children, watching yes. them pass around dildos and put a condom on it. And that's completely fine. But prayers in schools, that will stop everything. Prayers in schools, the country will collapse. But watching children pass around a dildo and put a condom on it, whoa, 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 that's too much. Now, look, I am very pro-sex ed when it comes to parents teaching their children about sex at a young parents. age. At a young parents. age. Because if you don't yeah. do that at a young age... They're going to learn sex ed from Pornhub on the, on the playground. Believe it. Like, We're fucking Disney Channel. Right. So, <laughs> you know, like a sex ed teacher talking about what a condom is and demonstrating how to put a condom on a eggplant. I'm not, I'm not offended by that. Having teenagers pass around a dildo and put a condom on it in front of the teacher. No. No, no, no. You, you, that's not something you have to confirm they know how to do. It's not – putting a condom on is not hard. It's not. Unless you're not hard, then it's hard. Correct. <laughs> then it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> then it's a fucking mess. <sighs> yeah. Or you start to sober up when you're banging the chick and you're like, ooh. And then it starts to get soft and you feel the condom slipping. You're like, I got a bounce. <laughs> Damn, I took this bitch home. God. Yep. The music started and the teens looked up. The recent all-day event called... Oh, uh, do you think that they were playing, like, poor me? like, oots, 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 <laughs> Bro, no, they were... Dude, they were playing Taylor Swift. They were playing some Taylor Swift. The recent all-day event called Spring Into Love was intended to get high schoolers more comfortable talking about sex. The oh. hope is that an open dialogue will make them more likely to seek out condoms and STD testing, eventually reducing the spread of the disease. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, hammerhead. And, and that hasn't happened. That was the same shit that they promised when they were bringing this into school when I was in school. Yeah. And it, okay. They touted it the same exact way, and that has not happened. You've had the reverse effect. Yeah. Hey, per personally, do you want to know what I... Here's the thing. I think that this one invention within the past 10 years has increased the number of condom sales. Can you guess what that is? Invention last 10 years? Yeah. Is it like an actual invention or like a cultural or social development? Uh, I'd say actual invention. <sighs> mm. you, you got me. You said Very increase the, 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 the sale of condoms? Increase the number of sales. No idea. What is it? Don't know. The self checkout. Uh, yeah, but you know the way that people lock the condoms in most places now, you know, except for like drugstores and shit. Yeah, I mean, I disagree because like young guys buying condoms, they would just go to a different grocery store and they'd be you proud just go to about a gas it. station. Yeah, they'd, you know? they'd be proud about it. Hell, most clinics give them away. They give away bags of them. I mean, so, yeah, you should I just go to go, go to a Section 8 or a Section 9 housing. You'll find a bunch of Snickers wrappers in the trash. Just grab some <laughs> of them bitches. There's a whole lot of nut in there. <laughs> oh, man, it's just fucked up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The main focus on – oh, you know, Destiny has to use the mini Snickers wrapper, by the way. Oh, of course he does. The fun-sized. Well, fun well, <laughs> Well, that's where the, that's where shrinkflation is great for him because that it costs the same, but the candy bar is just smaller. I feel so much bigger now. This the focus on like a titan. 
The focus on stigma is just one of the many ways L.A. County health officials are trying to think outside the box. Pause. <laughs> the track. As they struggle, right, right, as they struggle right. to curb rising STD rates, it's clear that the traditional ways of preventing disease, patients seeing a doctor regularly to get screened and tested, have not been working. That's not the traditional How way. About celibacy. That's not the traditional way of preventing the wrath of uh, Gomorrah. <laughs> it's not no being, fucking. How about that? It's not being a thought. <laughs> if that really yeah, happened, mighty. the problem is like picking one virgin partner and then sticking with them for the rest of your life. That's about as guaranteed as you get. Well, besides celibacy, you know, well, you just don't celibate. fucking do up it. Got to sell it up to that point, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right on. The county recently created. Okay, here we go. A center for health equity. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to have equitable sexual outcomes with a thought. Thank you. You see, there, there's no end to this fuckery. There's just no end to this, man. Dude, I would be at the center of health equity every day, dressed up as a bottle of sunblock, being like, white people get skin cancer. Where's our free sunscreen? And like being like a violent protester. I'd be like, as a cop's walking in equity, what's wrong with you? As people? the cops walk in, I'm gonna find the lightest skin cop. And be like, brother, you need this, and just spray sunblock on his face. <laughs> like, we need equity. There's too many white people with skin cancer. We need to address this social, uh, racial injustice. Okay. I got one in the chat that I want to read to you. Go ahead. Uh, D.O. Zerius, man. Chat, do you think a gay man can get into heaven? Well, you can't suck off the apostle to get there. You have to repent, man, and do not sin anymore. And people that cherry pick the Bible will tell you that gay people can get, dog fuckers can get in, uh, donkey strippers can get in. And no, no, no. Mm. If you're if you're actively gay and you're not repenting, no. I haven't heard a a good argument about why it's not a sin. And I haven't heard a good argument why unrepentant sinners can't get in. But I don't know if they can get in or not. I My interpretation is they can't, but you can always just, you know, cross your fingers and hope I'm wrong. Yeah, but you have to stop, you have to stop perpetrating the sin. Right, you know, that's, you what, what, that's that what I'm saying, right? Like, yeah. We think yeah. no, but we don't know. Right, right. Well, I mean, with the the difference being, are you still active in fucking other men, or have you I'll, reasoned it out that it's not good to do this? I'll and, die. And I'll God. go to the pearly gates, and I'm like, I'm dead chronic. You were only allowed to smoke less than a thousand pounds of weed in your life. <laughs> Let us look at the scales, and it's like a thousand and one. I'm like, she. Then I'm gonna be burning. You know, I don't know. Close, close <laughs> enough. Close enough. Know. Go on in there. Go on in there. The county recently created the Health Equity Center to evaluate the way certain public health issues are intertwined with social factors such as income, education, as well as racial discrimination. Sure. It's always this stupid fucking horse shit. You know yeah. what's uh you know what's never locked up in the CVS in California? Uh, Work boots? Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> what did you say? Work boots. Work boots. Work boots. They don't sell those. No, honestly, there's been pictures of CVSs in California, and the only thing not locked up, I'm not shitting you, sunblock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I huh. believe it. Huh. I That's believe it. it. It's, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Okay. High SED rates are at the top of the center's list of priorities. In just the last five years, the number of gonorrhea cases in L.A. County doubled. <laughs> 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 That's crazy with minorities suffering the most. Yeah, when a white guy gets gonorrhea, it basically gives him like plus 10 fire damage to his thrust attacks. <laughs> no negatives. <laughs> you know, just ask John Anthony Lifestyle. Gonorrhea is no yeah. big deal, man. <laughs> the numbers are only going up, Gusenhauser said. What's going on is unacceptable. Well, it's being accepted by the black community and the Latino community, so get with the program, man. The church auditorium was decked out in streamers and balloons. Kids, chat. The people who write these articles 
They don't want to write news articles. They want to write shitty short short stories like Maya Angelou. What's that bitch's yeah. name? Maya Angelou. You're, you're right. Yeah. Maya Angelou. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And you can tell just by the writing style here that these people are writing their fucking feelings down and sprinkling in what little facts support them. I know why the caged bird sings. Yeah, because the white man's about to give that caged bird a fucking cracker. <laughs> <laughs> Holy what? Crackers? I'm sorry. That was the worst fucking book I ever had to read in high school. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, Hispanic in Chicago fighting for their identity. I'm just like, show me the war. Show me the bloodshed. I was just, you know, we got to read Ivanhoe and every, or was Ivan, no, Beowulf. And everybody was like, this is so boring. I'm like, I will read in front of the class this entire fucking epic poem. And I did. Nice. It's great. It's great. Okay, let's continue. The church auditorium was decked out in streamers and balloons. Kids chatted around tables with piles of Mardi Gras beads and condoms at the center. That's not a church. That's a satanic no. temple. No, that's a fucking yeah. cult is what that is. Yeah, I'll be back in a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spring into Love, which began five years ago, is the brainchild of a coalition of L.A. health county advocates trying to bring down SED rates. This year's event, held in late March, included workshops on healthy relationships and body image, as well as free SED testing. Hey, Chaz, how many workout routines did they show these people? Fucking none, I guess. Yeah. That's my guess. Ashley Daras. You know what? I'm going to look up Ashley Daras on Facebook later, because the next time <laughs> I'm in L.A., the last time, the next time in L.A., if she's hot, you know she's open to get reamed out by a white guy. Um, 18, you know you're going to tear up their ass, right? Yeah. 18, <laughs> showed a group of students how to safely open a condom wrapper. Yeah, she's not going to ask me to wear a condom. She said her family almost never talked to her about sex. Sexual health was something in my household that was a taboo. A high school senior said in the interview, all I heard was, don't get pregnant. Other teens that spring into love sought practical information they haven't learned in health class. One boy said he didn't know he can get STDs from anal sex. <sighs> Stupid people act like animals. How do you control animals? Do you give a bunch of cattle a PowerPoint presentation on why they shouldn't try to leave your lot and cross the road? Or do you put up barbed wire fences? They usually put up electric fences. Yeah. yeah try to convince animals what to do. This is such a natural human interaction, yet it's so stigmatized, said Valerie Koshin Moore, who oversees We Can Stop STDs LA. You know what else is a natural human interaction? <laughs> murder. Mur <laughs> yeah, <it's a> murder. Murder. <laughs> exactly. Murder. Humans have been murdering each other ever since they've been having sex with each other. So, like, saying it's natural isn't really. You know what else is natural? Dudes beating off in their socks. Are we, are we going to have a how to beat off in a sock, a sock coalition? No. Well, if you do, you have to have an instructor, right? <laughs> 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 so that'll open, that'll open the door for more fucking perverts to get into your schools. This is a, we got the code ZZZ. We got a code ZZZ. What's going on, officer? Well, we were at the, uh, the sock zinc coalition. Um, testing and uh, they told the students that they would get their socks back and show them how to clean them and there was a bald bearded man with a white strip down the middle who took all of the socks and ran off like Santa with a sack of socks <laughs> in the back. I think it's a Mr. Murphy. He's struck again. <laughs> no, shit. I'm selling insurance now, bro. My we slippy socks. <laughs> <laughs> Many say the silence around sex plays a big role in young people's high rates of STDs. Many feel uncomfortable walking into an <laughs> STD clinic or talking to their partners about safe practices. I'll tell you what. If when you piss, it feels like lava out of your urethra, you will go to a doctor. Yes, yes, you will. Yeah. In L.A. County, half of chlamydia cases and a third of gonorrhea cases diagnosed each year are among people between the ages of 15 and 24. So two-thirds of gonorrhea cases are in people over 24. These old hoes are getting smurfed out, bro. Yeah, well, they're teaching them in school what to do 
They're, they're not telling them that they need to abstain, that they need to not do this until they're ready to fucking settle down. You know, maybe like fucking 30 or 40 for men and 20 to 30 for women. They're not telling them that. Researchers increasingly view public health problems as shaped by the environments in which people live. Okay. Researchers who mm -hmm. would get canceled if they disagreed with you view health problems the way you view them. Now, I mean, I can kind of see where they're coming from. I mean, if you have a lot of single mothers living in the same Section 8 house and they're all servicing the same drug dealer, yeah, you're going to get a higher rate of STDs then. Yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Neighborhoods where people of color reside, for example, are more likely to be pollution-ridden and have fewer parks and doctors, factors that directly affect people's health. Well, doctors don't want to get carjacked, so they don't go to neighborhoods of color. You know what else neighborhoods of color don't have? Fucking Walmarts and I CVSs say, I was and say, grocery stores. I was going to say fathers, but yeah. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally fucking true. No, nobody can argue these facts. And the only people that want to come up against you are the ones that are fucking butthurt because yeah. it's true. It's not just their problem. It's a community problem. Okay, no. Coal no. burners are not in my community. No. Yeah, we have the same skin color. But if she's going to the hood in L.A. and banging Tyronius Maximus with the fire penis with plus 30 burn damage because he has chlamydia and gonorrhea, she's not in my community. She might live next door, but I don't look at her. I avoid her. When she, like, touches my mailbox while she's talking to me, I wipe it off with Lysol. <laughs> Come on over here and let me get you some crabs. But is systemic racism to blame? L.A. County launched their health equity center to address the health predominantly happens outside the healthcare setting. Well, this is true, right? So the director, Heather Jew Northover, at a recent uh -huh. meeting, it happens mm. where we live, work, play, and pray. Y'all aren't praying. Get, <laughs> shut up. Yeah. No, that's that's yeah. cultural appropriation of religious people. I'm including Muslims in this. You know, we got to be offended by this. The center will target five health disparities, including high rates of STDs among certain minority groups. Bro, I want them to go. I want the white beta boys to go door to door and be like, "Can I take a swab of your penis, sir?" In, in mm -hmm. fucking Compton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you already know where that's headed. Can I see, can I see your penis, good sir? <laughs> Hold on a second while I whip this out. Nationwide, STD rates have been climbing for the past five years. More people were diagnosed with syphilis, gonorrhea, or chlamydia in 2016 than ever before. Some blame what underfunding it? of STD prevention programs as well as failing condom usage. There's also speculation that people are having sex with more partners because of hookup apps. The same reason why marriage is falling is the same reason why STD rates are rising. Feminism. It's feminism. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You're not wrong. The picture is more complicated when it comes to high STD rates among minorities. Gay and bisexual men make up the vast majority of new syphilis cases. No surprise. In L.A. County, syphilis rates among African-American women are six times higher than a white woman. I mean, I wonder why. Oh, man. Well, well, hey, 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 let, let's be honest. Dogs, have, dogs don't pass on the same STDs. <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> Northover said the officials need to evaluate what's called structural or systemic racism, the way housing or education policies may negatively impact people and their health. Yeah, you, you know, know what negatively impacts people in housing? Is when you don't rent to them no more and they beat 50 fucking holes in your walls and it's the same people doing it over and over again. Wait, hammer that, hand. That's what impacts them. So. Hammer hand, you're, you're interrupting my white supremacy spellcasting. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, Laquanda, you will get syphilis tonight. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Give me, give me a Tomoka and Sharkiza, man, for the win. Sorry, I was, I was casting a spell to ensure that the black man having unprotected sex with the black woman in a black neighborhood, listening to black media, shouting Black Lives Matter, that gives her a, a chlamydia because I'm the white man, use my racist superpower against them. Sure, sure. You did that, right? You did that. 
Studies have found, for example, that people with, with HIV who had low levels of literacy were less likely to follow their treatment and that poor Americans were more likely engaged in risky sexual behavior, increasing the risk of STDs. Wait a second. LA, count, LA Times. Are you saying black people can't read? <laughs> did you just – did these mother, look, did, did these motherfuckers just say black people couldn't read? Well, they That's assume that they said. can't fucking drive or vote either. That's so. what they, well, Bro. I need to meet this person and give him my grandpappy's clan hat because they are more racist than my grandpappy was. <laughs> like you, he Goodness. would want you to have this. <laughs> was it very pointy? You very can tell pointy. me. Very pointy. The CDC released a white paper. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. This That's white racist. supremacy coming from this. Why is the That's paper racist. white? That's, that's racist. Oh, where's my fucking black paper, you bigot? Where, where, where's my dark mode paper? <laughs> a white paper in 2010 saying the country could not close disparities in STD rates without addressing the interpersonal network, community, and societal influences of disease transmission and health. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh -huh. So you can't stop a disease that is spread from sexual activity without addressing the factors that influence sexual activity? This is why we need to defund the CDC. They're fucking yes, stupid. Yes. Fire the fucking teachers union, defund the CDC. Yes, absolutely. 100%. But that's a tall order given how many entrenched many social problems are. Okay, now you're being bigoted against midgets. True. Okay. Poverty or lack of opportunity may be forcing women to exchange sex for resources. Uh, no. No, they're not being forced to do that. They're willingly doing that because you know, they just, don't want to work a nine to five. They want a five thousand dollar Birkin bag, and they can get that in a week by laying them them legs open. Shut the fuck up, holes! You're bugging me. You can buy a Greyhound ticket from L.A. to Sioux Falls for less than a hundred bucks, and you could work full time at McDonald's. You could work overtime at McDonald's there, and make a quote close to thirty five forty k a year. And the rental rates in Sioux Falls are much lower than L.A. You don't That's need correct. to be a prostitute to feed your bastards. In fact, you can give your bastards a CPS. And then you could just strip and not have to give sex for money. But, you know, the, telling black women to give up their government assets, <laughs> their, little, their little farms of welfare, is never going to work. Well, that's racist too, you know. Poverty, or we already said that. There also tends to be a mistrust of the medical system among African Americans, making them reluctant to seek care. Well, you know Gee, what? I, I wonder why. Well, I wonder you know, why. how about all them soldiers that were implanted with fucking syphilis and the populations that were knowingly, knowingly no, given syphilis and gonorrhea? Oh man, that never happened. They had syphilis, and the doctors uh. didn't treat it. Uh -huh. yeah, so okay. they died of syphilis when the doctors could save them. But, Fucking horribly. Yeah, they, but they didn't give them syphilis. You know how they got syphilis? Mm. Mm. They were fucking some hoes. Mm -hmm. like, so I feel bad for them the same way I feel bad for Blackbeard, who got syphilis and went crazy. Well, I mean, you know, Blackbeard was a baller, though. So He was a baller. But he did marry a 14-year-old Jamaican black woman. So, uh... Hey. <laughs> <laughs> she was called... Wait. She was called Calypso, and she fed into his schizo posting. And that's why he would jump on... That's fucking amazing. That's why he would jump on enemy boats. Like when, So when Blackbeard started out, he was like the most rational pirate. He's like, we should take the peace deal from, from Britain. We should turn ourselves into traitors and stuff. But he caught syphilis from some chick. And he, you know, neurosyphilis happens later on. He went crazy. Mm -hmm. And then he started jumping. Like, he would raid enemy boats and jump on the boat with two lit dynamite sticks in his beard. So, <laughs> nice. what, what pussy does to a motherfucker is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Oh, but <laughs> it, it, it's detrimental to the soul, man. There also tends to be a mistrust. Yeah. I mean, I mean, look, people mistrust in the medical system after the juice juice. The jab jab? Mm -hmm. I, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I completely understand that. Yeah. We need to take a wider lens, said Northover. What? Did the did the last fat black chick come in? You you had to use a wide lens <laughs> your camera <laughs> to do your physical exam. She's still trying to get to the bottom of what's driving wait, Northover, who added that she is still trying to get to the bottom of what's driving S T D rates. What 
Wow, maybe a, um, smart, a smart doctor, uh, part of the, the health equity clinic in L.A. She's making half a million dollars a year. She still doesn't know what's causing the STD rates to rise. Gee, I, I wonder what it could be. You know, maybe fucking? Hmm. County Supervisor Mark Thomas, who represents South L.A., convened several community groups in 2012 to try to bring STD rates down through collaboration, but the still growing cases suggest the approach needs to be reimagined, said Hawkman, a senior health deputy for the supervisor. If you keep doing the same thing and expect a different result, then that's insanity, Hawkman said. Well, you know what? That's the internet definition of insanity, but it might as well be the official definition because that's what all these terminally online Twitter boys say. So if you keep doing the same thing, feminism, and expect a different result, purity, that's insanity. I agree with that. Yeah. I'd also like to say that there's no way that importing 30 million border jumpers into your population is not going to explode this shit, too. And it started all right about the same time, didn't it? Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. In Britain, in the United States, France, Germany, and Italy, they all have the same fucking statistics across the board. And they all have that common denominator. If you want to support the show, if you want to support the channel, consider donating to cashapp.cashsignundechronic. That's cashapp.cashsignundechronic. Okay, let me pull this down. Um, Walt Chamberlain says, you see, just deny the Tuskegee experiments. Okay, well, Walt Chamberlain, I actually read the reports from the doctors of the Tuskegee experiments. And the idea that they purposely gave black men syphilis is a schizo post from black supremacists that think the white men are out to get them. No, the white man viewed you as animals. And they watched animals succumb to a preventable disease. Was it horrible? Yes. Did they give black guys syphilis? No. That's why the first two years of the Tuskegee experiment was just testing for syphilis. Do you think if you were going to give a bunch of dudes syphilis, you'd have to test for syphilis, or you just give them syphilis? No. You just give it. No. So, you have an internet understanding of a medical tragedy in the United States, and I encourage you to look at the actual sources instead of Yakub Twitter profiles telling you bullshit. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Walt. I know you're a fan. I'm just trying to tell you, like, that's fucking stupid what you just said. I'm going to take a piss because I'm, I'm going to take a piss. I'll be back. Chaz, read some comments. Chaz, you motherfucker. Okay, great. Read some comments. No, 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 no. I was, I was, <laughs> I was hoping we would all just be quiet. I was going to say, hey, guys, let's just not say anything until he gets back, because that would have been funny, but <laughs> I guess I got to read some comments, whatever. Do your job, Staghorn. No, no, I, I get paid hourly. I've already done what I got to do, and I'm just going to, I'm going to shit at work. I'm going to get paid for it. I'm going to pay you. <laughs> I'm going to pay you to chug. I'm going to pay you to chug. No, I've got th- like important things to do tomorrow, so unless you pay me good money, I'm not going to take any shots of Everclear. I have good money, and I think I'm I'm going to pay you to chug. I mean, by all means, I could use a little. I could use like people already gave me gas money, right? But you know, full gas, gas like full, filling up I, a tank once, right? Like, oh, I need gas money for the day after tomorrow. How about that? Did you just say you had I, pink eye? What the fuck did you say? No, no, I said the other stream. I was asking people for <laughs> donations for like, uh, you know, because. For gas money, right? They gave me that, so I'm saying I can't use that as an excuse for this stream because then I'd look like an asshole. But then I'm thinking, hey, gas money, it's for next week. How about that? It went over your uh, head, helmet. Ga- oh, God. Or, actually- or I didn't actually hear what you said. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Perfect. Gas apparently went up. Still fucking- hasn't read one comment. Hmm. Yeah, exactly, because I don't give a shit. I'm not surprised. I, Jazz, I don't care. Jazz. I don't need to read any comments. What's Chronic gonna do? Get back on the stream and call me a retard? You What's he gonna do? Again, damn do <laughs> retard. You are a fucking retard, Chaz. Chaz, I hope I lose my channel because I called you a retard, by the way. <laughs> Hammer did it first. Hammer did it before you, Chronic. Hammer hey, it w- wasn't a hard R, so, you know, no, it, w- me. it was. You just, you did call me a retard. Already. You have misheard that, sir. No, 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 no. Back when oh, Chronic yeah. hopped off, I was making jokes about how wait, wait, you're retar- up wait, 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 retard without the hard R? Is that like Ratiga? <laughs> sort of like that, sort of. <laughs> He's mishearing things. That's fine. It let me, uh, let me get me to these Super Chats real quick, and then I'll give Hammerhand the opportunity to dip after one last yes, short segment. 
Um, I'm not sure how much time you have, Hammer Hands. So I'm just kind of watching out for that. Scoot, no, I appreciate you. Scooty <laughs> says, Me thinks groomers should blow up spontaneously. Maybe we should convince them to self immolate for their rights. Um, Rai Rai, the water waffle, says, <laughs> Thank you for sharing gems over the years. Thank you, water waffle, for your generous super chat donation. Okay, Hammer Hands. I'll give you two. I like an aquatic wheat waffle. <laughs> we got Sydney waffle. Watson shitting on red pill leaders. We got let's, uh, let's yeah, do it. Sydney yeah. Watson, fuck everything else. We can we can uh, do this woman upset that men aren't a, a defending woman, and then we have this shit lord who is making an AI depth sensing puniti pocket puniti and pairing it nice. with Orifice. He calls himself Orifice AI. <laughs> That's unfucking believable. And all the people losing their shit in the comments. Well, I'm you pretty sure he's hoping, he's hoping it's going to be very fucking believable, if you know well, what I'm yeah. saying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have an attitude problem, Chaz. I'm gonna, I'm, you're fucking chugging, you motherfucker. No, I'm not doing shit. You got to pay me to do it. Chaz, I know my worth. Chaz. <laughs> I know my fucking worth. It's Friday If I night. pay you enough to get a fucking helmet and some crayons, will you do it? Yes. I made this I'll go to Ch Walmart. Hammerhand. When Chaz first made sure. his channel, I made him eat fucking eggshells on camera. <laughs> You're lying to me. No, no. Is this nope. is that video still up? <laughs> yes, it's still on my channel. Why would I take that down? <laughs> okay, so well, autism if you, confirmed. If you, no, if you want to pull that up before the <laughs> clip, by all means. Oh, he's just like chronic told me to eat eggshells for calcium. I'm gonna get big or something. He like he like puts <laughs> it out here, crack, crocky spits out like <laughs> chronic lied. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay, here. L let me go to my channel. I'll send it. I'll post the link in the stream yards by all means. Like, I'll show you. I did hilarious. It. No, I, I think Hammerham believes you did it. He just can't believe you exist. I know. Yeah. I can't part either. I mean, it's part of it. It's part of it. Look, I, I want to laugh, but I also want to cry, and <laughs> it's unconflicted. Well, Hammerhand, uh, Sydney Watson and Orifice AI. Which one sounds more interesting to you? Oh, Sydney Watson. Okay. First of all, let us, you know, I'm not going to start roasting her until we get the uh, image up here. That's a good image, too. She looks like she's paralyzed on one side of her face. You know, I got the jab jab in my urethra, so I don't have any side effects. <laughs> Actually, Stroke what? I have a couple side effects. Do you want to hear them? Uh, yeah, sure. One is I had a massive blood clot, so I'm basically walking around with a 24-7 boner. Nice. Which you think would be nice, but you know, my no, it's holes not nice. being poked in my jeans. Yeah, that's the not second nice. one is since the the jab jab was actually a trigger to activate the five G poison centers. Anytime <laughs> I angle my penis the right way, I have a five G hot spot. Believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> And sometimes when I'm peeing, I can hear George Soros talking to me. <laughs> you will let me suck the pin. He's you just like, me. you will eat the bugs. I'm like, lobsters? <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, let me get this. So we have Sidney Watson slandering the red pill. Now, as usual, who gets promoted in red pill? Sex addicts. CIA uh, assets, homosexuals, thieves, liars. And, and dudes that impregnate hookers. Do uh, any yes. of those sound like they're red pill? No, uh, no. no. But that's who gets promoted. And so, why did they get promoted? Why would the why would the you why would YouTube promote Fresh and Fit? Why would YouTube promote Andrew Tate and make him famous? Why would YouTube promote Hamza or all these other people? Because. They want the red pill to be seen as a bunch of sex, sex addict, degenerate, closeted homosexuals that are federal assets. They want people to view the red pill as a bunch of mystery mutts on a podcast screaming at hookers who got touched by their uncles when they were 10. So what you're saying is the modern day red pill is basically like rappers. Yeah. Yeah. And not so on the down low either. Yep. <laughs> Yep. So, Sydney Watson says, "Give me all your money, and I'll protect you from gold digging wrenches." Red pill quote leaders unquote probably. Let's see what she has to say. I absolutely hate the red pill movement. Wait, wait. 
a woman who sued the Blaze for misogyny hates the Red Pill? Uh-huh. <laughs> now look, City Watson. I've been roasting your organic brown egg looking ass face for five years now. And every year, my insults become more true. Because you are face planting into the wall right now. I'm not sure if you got lupus. I'm not sure what kind of drugs you're on. But those cheeks keep on getting bigger. Either you're snacking down on some Cadbury eggs every night before you go to sleep to deal with the fact that no man loves you enough to give you a ring. Or you're on some high dose steroids to deal with the autoimmune condition that's attacking your brain. Because let's be honest, there's a lot of empty space up here. So the blood brain barrier is compromised. And good God, look at that hairline. Like, look. <laughs> exactly. I mean, motherfucker. Like, Why oh the empty space? Gosh. He's not just talking about the cavity up there. No, no, no. It's have you guys seen like American... Fucking eyebrows and scalp are having a tug of war with her hair. Have you guys seen American Sniper? No. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, the, the guy with the longest um, confirmed kill in U.S. history from Sniper? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, w- uh, word on the street is he stood at the bridge of her nose and shot at her hairline, and it was twice the distance of his actual confirmed kill. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Crazy, right? Damn. Crazy. So let's see why she hates us. Let's see why she hates us. I absolutely hate the red pill movement. And uh, it's time's going it. on. Can't hear it. Give me a sec. Let me readjust this. Stop sharing. Yeah. <sighs> Again. I, I, I want to make this very clear. I still have not read a single part of chat. Well... <sighs> Comments are right though. Like her face does actually look bloated. Is like, is there Sydney? Is there a reason why you're only shooting this from the cleavage up? Because uh, do, you, do you got something well, well, that wait, you want to share? Right, great, 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 great. You just made a statement. You were like, well, once the aliens come, the red pill is going to succeed. Well, you, whoa, 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 whoa. you got to prove to me that the aliens exist. You, you got to prove. To red pill you got to prove to me that her cleavage exists. I don't see anything, bro. <laughs> Can't be saying cleavage when I'm looking at a piece of printer paper that fell out of the fax machine. Okay, okay, fine. I, I love your face. From the collarbones up, and well, not even rage cups. You could just say the great skin expanse, <laughs> the great flat expanse. That's what you could just say. Well, well hey, <sighs> chronic with modern day clothes that could go all the way down to the waist, like. That shit's weird these days. I mean, you can't, they're, they're not A cups, man. So we just call them rage cups because they raging. I absolutely hate the red pill movement. And as time has gone on and this movement has grown in size and in popularity, what is becoming more and more clear to me is that predatory people, predatory leaders at the top of this movement are taking advantage of the fact that there's a lot of really, really lost men. So she's, again, taking my arguments i'm not saying she like heard them and stole them but these are the same arguments me and hammerhand have been making and gray's been making these people predate young men to take their money and buy hookers does that mean the red pill movement is wrong No, it doesn't. It means that the people who get boosted by the algorithm are predators. That's what it means. Now, I mean, and that's the thing. Like, I'm looking very. <sighs> like, I just think taking money to buy hookers. Like, no, I'm just like, look. If you want access to Puniti, the most efficient way to get access to Puniti is to buy hookers. If instead you're going, no, 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 I, I want a loving, caring relationship. Like, yeah, so do most married men. Deal with it. Yeah, that's true. So if you actually listen to the men who started the Red Pill movement, completely different. But why can't you listen to them on YouTube anymore? Oh, yeah, they all got banned. How many subs would TFM have if he was never banned? Never demonetized and never shadow banned. A million. Easily quarter million. More than yeah. that. I think he'd have a, a couple. Million. I, yeah, he'd have a million. How about Sandman? Uh, easily a million. I mean, he, organically, he's gone to what, 200,000? Yep. So easily a fucking million. Yep. Yeah. Let's continue. 
in society who do require direction, who do require role models, who do require some assistance when it comes to courting the opposite sex and having happy, healthy relationships with the opposite sex. But what they're instead getting is unfiltered anti-female rhetoric. Define it and, and cite your source. I mean, she what? says that like it's a bad thing. Because well, okay, like, the problem is, like, it's like, oh, they need instruction, they need guidance. No, they need to stop being lied to. Yep. Yeah. That's why they go to these people. And fucking because... used. Exactly. Like, like that's the thing. Like these guys, they're being lied to, and then they find out they're being lied to, and then so anyone who goes counter to the lies is immediately appealing. What percentage of all rhetoric, including YouTube? Hollywood, the mainstream media, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook is anti female. Uh point one percent? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay. What percentage is anti male? Two percent? Three percent? Ten percent? Anti male? Yep. I'd say well, that basically you all see of it, it everywhere, all of it. <laughs> yep. So because there are a few individuals who were allowed by YouTube to hit the algo puniti and blew up. Sidney Watson is so upset that a handful of men have made a career out of roasting women that she needs to go to war against the red pill. Do you guys think the blaze is red pill? Uh, no. No, no. But Sidney Watson is suing them for misogyny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True you think, enough, right? Do you think Elijah Schaefer is red pill? No. She's suing him for misogyny. Mm hmm So it's almost like a woman's opinion on misogyny is bullshit. It's kind of like all her opinions are bullshit. It's like, you know, shout out to TFM. Women use words like magic spells. They don't really know what they mean. They just say them to try to get what they want. True. Yeah, true enough. And that's what we're seeing right here. Yeah. And there is absolutely no way that that is going to have a net societal benefit. Um, you know what? What does? What else doesn't have a net societal benefit? I mean, murdering 1.7 billion kids in the womb. What exactly? Let's get some definitions out here. What do you even qualify as a societal benefit? Because so far as I've seen, whenever a woman talks about societal benefit, she says, like, she, what she really means is, this makes me happy. Therefore, yep. it's a societal benefit. Yep. 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 That's why they wanted um, sexual freedom as a societal benefit because it makes them happy. And women view society, the health of society, as their own feeling. Well, through the lens of emotion. Well, yes. their own feelings, right? If I feel yep. good about this, you know, and look at this chick. She, let me be quite frank. Let me, let me just stand up. Oh, shit. Standing this up. This woman is fucking repulsive. Disgusting looking. I, you are an old 30 year old white woman. You are as useful as the plastic bag I use to pick up my dog's shit. And when I go to pick it up, there's holes in it and I got doo doo on my hands. You are oh, useless kids. to me. You are a poison. You are corrosive. You are a cancer in the society that men built. Okay? I don't care, I don't care about your feelings. I don't care about your shitty. Formed eyebrows. You spend two hours on your face every day to get some fucking simp bucks, but you still look like a goddamn gremlin. You know what you look like? She looks like the ogre from Warcraft 3. Okay? <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, she looks like a fucking Starfield NPC. <laughs> Cindy Watson does not have the intellectual capacity to know what is going to benefit society because like every other female right-wing influencer, they just looked at what was popular that men said and they copied it and wore a low-cut blouse. It's really hard here. You're going look. This bitch has to go lower than the Titanic to get any kind of sexual attraction here and it's still she not is. fucking working. She has a chronology problem all in the same body. It's like she's 30 years old physically and her tits are three. There's, so there's, there's, no, there's a problem here. There's no new ideas. There's no intellectual processing. There's, there's no problem solving going on here. It's I feel a certain way. 
I'm going to attack and get the simps to join me to to win my battles. No. It's an age old story, isn't it? Yeah. It's worked since no the way. beginning of fucking time. And you know, the irony is that the leaders of these ideological groups will say things like, oh, women are scum sucking road whores who are going to take all of your money. What's your body uh, count, Cindy Watson? Come on to my show. <laughs> come on to where's my show count? and tell me your body count. Notice notice how she ignores MGTOW. Like all these fraudsters, all these federal assets, all these Zionist controlled golems, none of them will will talk to Hammerhand or me or the Warband. None of them. They won't talk to Better Bachelor. They'll just shit they'll they'll pull up Andrew Tate and be like, that's the red pill. Andrew Tate pretended to be a woman and watched guys masturbate. And then today, because he got internet famous, he thinks everything he says is the truth. He's talking about white men's penises on Twitter. That's what he does now. Yep. And that's the leader of Red Pill, a dude that is obsessed with white schlong. Well, now, if you ask Donovan Sharp, he's fronting uh, Myron as the leader of the Red Pill. He just did that a couple weeks ago. Donovan Sharp married a morbidly obese 40-year-old white single mother. (laughs) She's a hard nine, bro. Quit disrespecting her. The only way she's a hard nine is when nine hard pipe-hidden ninjas are inside of her at the same time. (laughs) I think it's worse. It's just it's hard to believe she's a nine. Well, yeah, it's it's hard to believe that 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 motherfucker married her. She's a nine on the Richter scale when their fat ass falls off the bed. (laughs) Shout out to my Filipino brood who's got to deal with another goddamn tsunami. That sucks. Sorry, Filipinos (sighs) in the house. Let's continue. And suck all of your wealth. They're all gold diggers who are going to take your future gold from you while simultaneously asking you for money and asking you to buy their books and their programs and sign up to their courses that they know have- Hey, Chronic, how many times have you asked anybody to dono your channel? You couldn't count it on one finger. Donate my, donate to my channel? Yeah, you, you couldn't count it on one finger. Now, you may shill the links, but you don't dangle carrots in front of their faces and promise them life after death or life after mating or anything. Uh, no, I mean, I'll sell, a, I'll sell a chronic, I'll sell a chronic sex guide. I'll sell it for a hundred bucks. <laughs> no, I'll sell it for 420 bucks. You but buy you it. Done it. You buy it. That's what I'm saying. You buy it, right? And yep. you got to download the PDF. It's like, why is this like point two? Why is this point one megabytes, bro? Like, what's up with that? Why is that why is this, That's then, because it's one page. You, it's one page. <laughs> And it says, it says, thanks for buying me that weed, bro. LOL. <laughs> I should sell that. I should put that on the Teespring store. You know, somebody would fucking buy it. I just have to feel fucking horrible for him. I'd get sued. I'd get sued. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I, I think that it's a great way of donating 420 bucks to Chronic. <laughs> but you actually get some like guess the thing, if you get a one page book from Chronic, you frame that shit, put it on the wall. You know what? Yeah, no, I, I gotta sell a physical copy and like the, the title is basically a ripoff of the rational mail. <laughs> it's nice. just one page. <laughs> okay, let's finish this up. Just, just three sentences, just like get fit, get rich, get social skills. Yep. Yeah. Let's let's bring this back no tangible real world benefits for you they are wait this is exactly like people donating to you yeah wait hey, there's no tangible real world benefit look at her eyebrows bro that's all um, bro you know who that's else has these eyebrows you know who else who has these eyebrows every single prostitute in miami every damn. single one damn Ooh. Ooh. okay yeah that, that's the thing like guys like, yeah, you might be paying for Andrew Tate's hookers, but you're paying for Brittany or no, for Cindy Watson's threading. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. She got the same she got yeah. the same skull shape as Andrew Tate, and it's unattractive on men and women. And, and apparently Josh her forehead's get, apparently like she's asking for her eyebrows to be threaded, and they're taking her fucking hairline with it. Bro, <laughs> is this is this just me or did the hairline get worse a minute into this? Like it's even No, worse it's not than... just you. She <laughs> started talking and that bitch receded. Bro, did Moses like split the Red Seas right here? Like, what the? Look at this. 
Okay, let's just, let's finish. Are the gold diggers. And instead of seeing this for what it is, people continue to engage with this terrible group of people, this terrible ideology. I'm terrible. I'm mean. Debate me. <laughs> that will ultimately keep you in a victimhood loop and ultimately mean that you will end up alone. So wait, wait. You're, you're co now you went from red pill leaders to red pill ideology, and you're saying the red pill ideology will let you end up alone? Well, here's the problem, Sidney Watson. What the red pill is, is simply what women find sexually attractive. That's what it is at its base. And if the red pill is that, which I think 99% of people in the space would say that's what the red pill is, right? Like saying high value men cheat on their wives, like Byron Keynes does, that's not red pill. That's his own little narcissistic Arab bullshit coming into the red pill. And I'm sure there's, there's tons of white guys that say it too. But if the red pill is how to become sexually attractive to women and a third of men haven't had sex in the past year, saying that the red pill is going to end up having more men being alone is the complete opposite of what it's doing. Now, you might be saying the red pill results in less marriages, less relationships. Okay. Well, you know what? It's letting people who would have been incels have sex because what's really killing marriage and relationships are people like you. Feminism. No fault divorce. Your body count. Remember how I, fucking mad her and Lauren Southern got when they were confronted with the fact that they were actually feminists? I confronted Lauren Southern with that. She had to call in her little bitch boy destiny. <laughs> I remember I was there. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Remember how mad they well, got when it got shoved in their face. That, no, no, that's the thing. It's like, hey, present this two options to guys. Hey, guys, you can either die alone or you can die alone while owing a woman a lot of money and your kids hate you. Yes. And, and that's what happens. And it's sad. So it's horribly here. sad. Someone says, Myron threatens his Christian guests with a machete. Uh, okay. <laughs> if that's legit, if that's legit, I need to dock myself and go on the Fresh and Fit podcast. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys have seen, you guys have seen um, Indiana Jones where that oh, yeah. Arab guy swinging the sword around. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going to do the 2024 version of it. <laughs> Except it's a three fifty seven. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 getting a little fucking out there, man. If that's if that's legit, if that's true, that's so, that's getting so, out there, boy. So what? We need to get fucking six hexenhammer on fresh and fit now, and so we can no, see if we can start Don't fighting. do it. I want it. I'll, I'll, I will set it up. I want six hex. I want Myron Gaines using a scimitar, an Arab or an Arabic scimitar. And I want six hexenhammer using like. The fucking stupid like replica sword from Game of Thrones, and I want to see them go at it. No, no, fucking we, no, fucking ball ninja katana <laughs> versus Canadian tire scimitar. God, dog. Oh. <laughs> oh. Fucking machete from the hardware store versus a fucking katana from the fucking mall pop up. That's what we need to see now. <laughs> Good lord. It's the kind of thing where, you know, if I ever if I ever got into beef with Andrew Tate and he was like, I could bait him into it, I would bait him into a duel fight and get my lawyer to sign up the contract because in several states duels are legal. And he gets to the boxing ring, has the boxing gloves on, he's like warming up, kickboxing the whole shit. And I'm just standing there in <laughs> fucking street clothes. I'm like, yeah, let's get it, let's get it. And as soon as the bell rings <laughs> <laughs> you you know you got your pause game is on man look at the way you caught her face bro yeah it's just my pause game's always on the back during the red pill response videos god damn bro some of those pauses <laughs> so they were incredible good. they're incredible but yeah hammerhand if you have more time i'd love to have you but if you got to bounce i'll give you the opportunity now uh, i got a break uh i got some more writing to do for this uh stinger and, uh, yeah, I'm sorry that I can't give you a little more time there, man, because this was entertaining as hell. You know what? I would arm wrestle Timon and Pumbaa at the same time. Hey, Timon!
<laughs> and as they lost, I'd fling the hands and just knock out one of those whores they have. And he gets up like, you knocked out my date for the night and you broke my wrist. Aww. It's terrible. So, if you, terrible. so what? So you took out both his dates for the night. Oh wait, Hammerhand, have I told you? The, have I shared the rap lyrics with you about Fresh and Fit? Uh, not yet. Oh, okay. What is it over here? Um, use a fed, use a bitch, use a snitch. Now, what's they can say? Use a fed, use a f a g, use a bitch. Mm-hmm. But use a fed, use a bitch, use a snitch. Stomp a roach's fucking throat in his crib. All the fans crying, washing fresh and fit. Undead Chronic turns some roaches into bricks. But how? Chronic how? With a little bit of fentanyl now. Mixed with phenobarbital. Loading up that drip rate. Chopping up some ingrates. Turn your kids to orphans. Get rich off your organs. Yeah, That's the only crazy. use those guys Man, would have. You, is if I you, sedated them and harvested their organs. So I rap about it. And I talk about how to clamp the renal vein. And harvest kidneys in the rap song, so I'm very excited yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah, you got to finish that one, man. I can't wait. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's called the War Band Marches On. Oh god, was it? It goes. Uh, oh, what's the other one I want to tell you? It's um, it's uh, grab a stick, grab a sword, grab a chopper, get a gothic bitch, put her in the coop, take some top or get that topper. We the War Band, what? We the War Band. Strong and green. No, wait, wait, wait. We the war band, strong and green, marching on your castle. All you bitch ass feds know is giving up that asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, bro. Oh, thank you for joining us, Hammerhead. Do you already have uh, anything you want to say before you bounce? No, brother. Everything is cool and wonderful and, and right with the world, man. It's been a good couple of weeks and. Yeah, no, I appreciate being here on these and I appreciate your co-hosts and you guys have fun, man. And I'll be listening to the rest, but I'm going to be typing too. Awesome. Hey, anytime, anytime I see you show up in chat, bro, it's always an open seat for Hammerhand. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. I, I love the fact that that's the case. And it, it, it's always good to come on and do these things with you, man, because we have a lot in common when it comes to that. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, Hammerhand, have a good night and uh, good typing. Peace, bros. Peace, man. Peace. All right. I got to hop off, too. I got a long Pussy. day tomorrow. Yep. Wait, you got leg day? Yep. No, I'm driving. To a oh, place. fighting tournament? Like two, yeah, it's like a two-hour drive. I got to wake up, get, get shit done, you know, get a good breakfast in, and then play all day, drive home, shit like that. So it's... Get some good sleep, Chance. Yeah. And I mean, I know I won't, but I'll, I'll try, try to get some good sleep. Well, if you took a shot, you'd have some good sleep, but it's all right. No, I actually, dude, the other night when I took two shots, I couldn't sleep worth well, the Because you were drunk. Like, okay. Being drunk, hard to sleep. Being tipsy, good sleep. Look, look, man, with Everclear, it's either I'm sober and that I'm drunk. There's no <laughs> Jazz, like, I there, only have... I, I, I skip that. Jazz I skip like, that. Jazz, like, I only have one speed undead chronic. <laughs> <laughs> I, but yeah, man. Hey, it's fine. Well, hey, dude, um, hit me up on Discord when you get home tomorrow and tell me if you won. Oh, all right. Have a good night. Peace, man. Peace. Okay, great. Do you got to go too? Nope. Perfect. Okay. Um. No, I'll keep. I'll keep this one. Keep this one. Keep that one. Bro, do you want to? I feel like you're the person who talked about this AI thing. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Let me check the super chats real quick. Broderick Black says, Watson is looking like Gollum before the ring. Wait a second. <laughs> I'm getting some ice real quick, but he's not wrong. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I think maybe we have a winner. No, I can't do that. Let's do it like this. I don't know. You guys let me know. Let me know. Is this Sydney Watson? I 
Am I looking at Sidney Watson right now? Mm. Tell me, is that Sidney Watson? Looks like it. You guys got to tell me, though. Did I get another super chat? No, I didn't. Mm. She got a nose job. That's Cindy Watson. Lore accurate. <laughs> That's Brittany Venti. Schmeagle Walson. Yeah. Cindy went transmaxing. That looks like the love child of Mr. Bean and Cindy Thompson. Back in 2003, too, LOL, says Father Saunders. In a cosmic sort of way, yes. Looks like it. Nose is wrong. We want it. We needs it. I'll practice my guitar and said hopefully it can fit. Okay, whatever. At least to a close relative. <laughs> no, great. I have an idea. Dude. I need to go take my dogs outside for a shit and right. buy some beer from a high schooler. Oh, nice. So. Do you want to run solo, or do you want me to open the stream yards to get a relatively good guest? Uh, I'm good. With, I'm good with running solo. Like, can go can pass for a bit. What image should I have in the background? Uh, what do you want to talk about? You want to talk about AI in general? I mean, you see this tweet, but yeah, yeah. Well, I'll I'll, I'll talk about AI for a bit. I, I can. I can yeah, go tell tell us about. Yeah, I'll be listening. As I buy beer from a high schooler, um, don't tell the cops. But uh, yeah, and hey, uh, it could be a nineteen-year-old high schooler. You know, they're being held back more and more. These he days. has his liquor license. <laughs> 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 no, he doesn't. He opens the, the trunk of his car. The first time I bought it, he opened the trunk of his car and there's a bunch of beer there, like rolling around, and like a shotgun. I was just mm -hmm. like, "What's up with the shotgun?" He's just like. In case someone tries to rob me, I'm just like, so if I wanted to rob you, me and you are looking at a trunk, and your self defense weapon is a shotgun. He's like, yes. I'm like, I just grab the shotgun. I'm like, so what now? And he's just like, holy shit, man! I'll give you the beer. I don't care. I'm just like, I'm not robbing you, dumbass. What I'm saying is, what? First of all, shotgun, no. Handgun, yes. He's like, I can't get a handgun. I'm not 21. I'm like, does your dad have a handgun? He's like, yeah. I'm like, then you're illegally out of care in this state. Second of all, if you think you're going to get robbed by your neighbor, don't sell them beer. He's like, oh, yeah. The guy was, he's stupid, but hey, he'll drive 20 minutes, 30 minutes to get beer and then meet me outside and sell it to me. So, anyhow. Hey, I mean, you got a future proof, like, you know, you're giving advice to a small business owner here. Come on, he's entrepreneurial. We got to encourage that grind set. Yeah, this old, yeah, this like the, I'm putting him on the, the grind set. <laughs> let's, let, yeah, let's choose a good hot AI girl to put up while you uh, talk about this. Mm, mm. This one's this one's fine. Yeah. Ah, web MP. Fucking web MP. Oh god, yeah, no, I hate that image format. You see all my just we see my random shit in here. Just all my thumbnails and memes <laughs> and shit. And then I work out spread in. I need to get I need to catch up on some manguas. It's like five I'm reading, and I get a lot of good thumbnails from them. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I'll just catch up on those. But uh, let me let me change this. Uh, okay, great. I'm going to be listening. Greg Ghost on AI generated women. Take the floor, man. All right. So, ah, good evening, Warband. AI generated women. Like, let's be honest, a bunch of this stuff is the future. And, like, real women, they're mad. Because, remember, guys, like, what, what do women want? Like the most common denominator we've been able to find is ATM. And no, it's not just the cash, attention, time, and money. 
And this makes sense. Women need attention and they need a man's time because they need his resources and their assistance. So AI women are, they're the best competition. They're, they are the best competition that women have had in ages. Because nowadays, a man can get attractive images of a woman, you know, like you can see on my daily community posts. And they can get them cheap or possibly even free. Varying levels of realism. I mean, heck, you can straight up create AI influencers these days. There's tutorials on making AI influencers these days. And are they really that different from women? Like, let's be honest, guys. If you were going to donate, would you rather donate to a woman who's going to spend it on a whole bunch of makeup and maybe some expensive booze, but, you know, who's not going to sleep with you? Or would you rather spend it on an AI woman whose manager is going to put that money towards a better PC so that he can create higher quality images of AI generated women faster and more frequently, who also isn't going to sleep with you. I mean, like you're getting about the same shit out of it at the end of the day, except when you donate to the AI woman, there's a chance that you're going to get better content down the line especially since there's the other advantage of AI generated images of women. Uh, they don't age. If anything, the quality increases with time. Whereas if you donate to some random woman, the only thing that's going to increase is the amount of makeup that they got to put on their face before they inevitably get super old and you've got to jump ship to a new one. <laughs> They're already making giant egg robo strippers. <laughs> I mean, you're not even wrong. And like, like let, let, let's be honest, guys. We don't necessarily need them to be flesh and blood for them to be attractive. Like a sexy robot twerking can be just as sexy, if not more sexy, than an actual human woman twerking. Because, hey, uh, robots don't got cellulite. So <laughs> that goes a long way. <laughs> Free unlimited, no level of shameless internet born. I'm not paying a dude. What do you mean you're not paying a dude? Who who do you think makes money off of this free internet porn? Like you are paying a dude somewhere down the line. And now here's like, but if you refuse to like give directly to any sort of donations, I mean that that's totally acceptable. Um uh, but then you're not really the target demographic for this kind of stuff anyway, so it doesn't really matter. If anything, you might be the target demographic for generating your own AI-generated images, you know, if you're going to be really tight on your purse strings with it. Because if you're going to go get the free unlimited stuff, you're paying ad revenue to somebody with your attention. You make stuff on your own PC using your own graphics card. Uh, yeah, you're not paying paying a cent to anybody. Uh, when can we get IRL metabots that would slap? Uh, okay, like, I'll be honest. Metabots, really cool. Made problem, the bipedal aspect. Getting bipedal humanoid fighting robots... It's just really expensive. I mean, if anything, the unrealistic part of Metabots was that freaking high schoolers could afford that shit. It's like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. High schoolers are not affording military grade tech in order to go duke it out where the illegal underground stuff was like, oh yeah, you've got to submit a part at the end. It's like, no, no, no. If I beat your freaking super weapon with my super weapon, you really think I'm stopping at just taking a single arm or a leg? No, 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 no. I'm taking the whole bloody thing plus your wallet. 
uh, true. Yeah, not all metabots were bipedal, but like, let's be honest. Like, if you're going to go for metabots, at what point do you basically just want bipedal battle battle bots? Like, battle bots still exist. You're just not having street fights with them. <laughs> uh, hose aren't the goal there, symptom of success. Well, <clears throat> yes. Yeah, hose will be attracted to successful men because women in general will be attracted to successful men. But the question is, do you want that as a successful man? Because this is something that you really got to consider. Because a lot of guys, like, they'll see, like, these dudes with women, and they'll go, oh, shit, I want that. It's like, okay, but why? Why do you want to have hoes attracted to you i mean like it's be it's like ants at a picnic it's like yeah you can be really tasty food and be like oh look at all these ants that are crawling all over me they totally want to take it tear me apart and carry me back to their nest to feed their colony with me i mean yeah you might like <clears throat> being delicious food but you don't necessarily want to be torn apart by ants. Like, same with gold diggers. Like, why do you want them? Okay, maybe you want them to be attracted to you because you know that that inherently has value. But this is where a bunch of the red pill guys go. They're like, oh, hey, I need to show that these women are attracted to me. So I'm going to go on seeking arrangements and purchase them. But they only do that because they're trying to grift off a bunch of men who basically they want they they want to get a lot of sex. They want a lot of puniti entering their life because they're looking for all those nice happy chemical releases that come with uh bumping uglies. So So this this is what I would would ask of a guy who wants stuff. It's like, why do you want this? Because to have a, like access to the Puniti, you don't require that much money. You, you do not need a six figure salary to have access to Puniti. Now, if you want children and you see women as being a necessary component in that, that's a completely different set of goals. And becoming a multi-millionaire and attracting a whole bunch of gold diggers to you, and no, that, that's not a necessary component. If anything, that's a detriment to it. So, no, it's not exactly. They say they do some other shit to make it happen. Almost like looking for the thing... You get. <laughs> you take a picture and people think you're most social for it. Exactly. It's like like going on video with a whole bunch of hoes is like going down to the airport, taking a picture in front of a travel poster, and then tagging yourself as being in Paris or some shit so that people think you're well-traveled. It's like, no, you, you went down to the airport and you took a picture in front of another poster. trying for jobs and lifestyle and some other shit is getting caught into the bargain struck by some RP and society. Well, exactly. Cause we got to remember guys, what does society and by extension, the government, because who runs society, the government runs society. I like to advocate for some bottom up shit, but society is largely controlled by top down. Just because most people are fucking followers. It, it is what it is. So, look at, okay, what does the government want? <clears throat> well, the government wants to maximize their control over the population, and they want to maximize their resources. Who do they get resources from? Men or women? Oh, they get resources from men because men are the primary producers in society. Therefore, government is incentivized to extract the maximum amount of resources from men. 
How do you extract the maximum resources from men? You get them to work. How do you get men to work? You get them to equate the things they want with putting in a lot of effort to generate the government a whole bunch of wealth, i.e. taxes. Therefore, earn a very high paying salary, enter into the upper tax brackets, larger percentage of your income gets taxed, ergo, you are now giving the government more taxes. And keep in mind, the government also gets to dictate who does and does not get to make a six-figure-plus salary. But if you're going to be making that much, chances are you're going to be in some sort of institution that is controlled largely by the government. And the government is not going to give you a six-figure salary government job paid for via taxes if they can instead make your taxes pay for someone else's six-figure job who they'll get a bunch of political control over. Frost, exactly. When you're a bachelor going your own way, you don't need as much money to survive. That is where the question of motivation comes in. Why are you doing what you are doing? If you are trying to get a bunch of access to Puniti, well, how frequently do you want it? What quality do you want it? Do you want domestic or do you want foreign? Like, because... Like, do you really want to buy? Or are you okay with renting? Like, these are all questions that you need to ask, and then you can budget accordingly. But you have to actually think about the minutia of what you want. It's not enough to just go, oh, hey, I want this, so I'm going to follow the blueprint society laid out for me. Like, that's a damn good way to get yourself in a crap ton of debt, paying out the ass for life, and completely under control of the government because they know that system. Because they're trusting you in not really thinking too deeply about it and just going with the general flow of things. <laughs> no, actually, no, that, that's a point, uh, John Sampson. If you are a loser, Chad, yes, there are women who will fund your lifestyle. And especially these days, with women more and more getting into higher paid positions off the back of the tax dollar, if you spend all your effort just becoming extremely attractive to women, yeah, you don't need a bunch of financial incentives or to provide any sort of tangible benefits. If you provide emotional benefits for women, they will rationalize the shit out of that. And they will just throw money at you. There's the odd guy that's actually able to exploit this system and then gets an article written up on him. So, as the thing, if, if you just want access, all, I mean, yeah, genetics are going to be a part, but you should primarily be focusing on eating properly, going to the gym, like getting ripped and not following what society tells you to do. Cause that's going to get you maximum access to Puniti with very little financial investment. And Hey, you may even be able to turn a profit off of that. If you can play your cards, right? Yeah, no, Joe Rockland. Exactly. You'll know freedom and peace. But that's the thing. Is that what guys want? Because for guys to be willing to commit to that, they have to realize that is what they want. Because uh, I, I think that a bunch of guys don't know what they want. They're going for what society tells them to want. But they haven't actually stopped for a bit and thought about what do they actually want. They've been so focused on what other people want from them and trying to meet those expectations that they haven't really stopped to think, what, what do I want out of life? What's important to me and me alone? What's so important that I would say screw you to everybody else? Hey, Karnak, you back? 
Bro, there is some goddamn demons out in these goddamn woods, and I'm sick of them. They're not paying <laughs> rent. They're not paying taxes. They're not being good neighbors. They're just fucking everything up, man. So, I met my yeah. boy, and I'm not even sure you, man. He, like, skirted up to the driveway, kicked up my gravel, and he didn't get out of the car. He usually gets out of the car and was like, what's up? He rolled down his window, and this, this motherfucker said, chronic, something feels wrong in these woods. And I was like, <laughs> I was like do you have beer in the car? He's like, yeah. So I gave him a 20. I took some beer, and I said, drive straight home. And he left. And I watched my dogs take their shit. I didn't pick it up. I brought them back inside, and here we are. <laughs> Even the fucking high school that with your beer is well aware. See, you fuck with me? You fuck, fuck, you fuck with me? Yeah. No big deal. You fuck with my beer, man? Now I'm pissed. <laughs> There's some fucking bear <sighs> witch shit going on in the woods right He literally now. just said something feels wrong in these woods. That's all he said about it. I'm like, yeah, I got that feeling a couple days ago, bro. Anyhow. <laughs> but we're doing good. Nothing, No problems here. Currently. <sighs> Now I'm just gonna get annoyed. Look, can I get at least can I at least get some canonically ten thousand year old demon lolly puny tea? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you're gonna have demons in your woods, you may as well get a fucking ten thousand year old demon lolly out of it. I think he probably. I mean, he probably just heard some kind of mating call. Some weird ass shit. Ugh, anyhow. Probably, probably, no, he, he just felt the fucking stares of the demons coming out of the woods. He was like, I, I, I don't see any reflection. Dude probably saw, the like, the physical manifestation of Satan, like, standing in the middle of the road, asking for directions to my house. And all this motherfucker told me was, something feels wrong. You know, that's probably what this dumbass did. <laughs> 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 oh, well. But no, we're doing good. But uh, dude, I was listening to your AI stuff until he showed up. So I, I completely agree. It's just like you go. Well, I don't want to pay. The one thing is like I don't want to pay money to a man. It's just like you can get all these programs for free, bro. Yeah, like stable diffusion is free. At most, it's gonna cost you like a half hour of your time to get that shit set up. Then you browse Civit AI to see whatever fucking model you want. Do you want anime? Do you want cartoon? Do you want fucking hyper realistic? Do you want safe for work, not safe for work? Whatever. Well, let's it's just say, let's say you're a giga chat. How much money do you spend yeah. on women? <laughs> giga anyway. chat plays no money for women, really. Does he have to pay cover for the club? Does he have to pay for his drinks? Does he have to pay for a boat to impress some hoes? This is pay for condoms. This is pay for SD tests. Does he have to pay for lawyers? Everything costs something. Yeah. Well, yeah, at the very least, he's got to pay for his gym equipment and gym membership. Yeah. Jim Power says, please let it be hot demons. Yeah, I'm going to. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> it's 2024. We're not that lucky. Well, I'm going to get a trans demon. I'm going to be like. So angry, I'm gonna fist it cuff it to death. <laughs> it's gonna be that fucking Konosuba shit. You think you're in some nice fucking tits, and then you feel something poking your butt from behind, and you're like, oh god, no. I'm gonna like try to like beat it to death, and it's gonna open a portal to hell, but I'm gonna be so pissed off, I'm gonna jump in the portal, beat my way through to Satan, and be like, you fucked up with the demons, you fucked up with the skinwalkers. But now, you can't even send a female demon to me? Nah, it's personal, ninja. Get your red bitch ass off that throne and put him up. Congratulations, <laughs> guys. We just found the plot of the next Doom game. Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Broderick Black says, as long as it's not Riley Reed coming out towards you, I think the situation is manageable. <laughs> she's just like, she's just, what is it called? Like the, what's that ghost anime where they have the, uh, they like put their in, their personal space and they expand it? Domain expansion? Oh. Um, Riley Reed. I, Wait, you know domain expansion, right? Yeah. Riley Reed, yeah. domain expansion, 10,000 league puniti. I'm like, no! <laughs> <laughs> It's like giant syphilis bacteria trying to like beat me up. <laughs> I'm just like, nah. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. That'd be funny. Connor should make an extra channel for horror stories. Well, you know what? I'm thinking about it. I just don't know if I have enough horror stories to really keep it relevant. I need to collab on it. I need to have someone like use an AI voice to read AI generated horror stories just to keep like an upload per week while I work on the, the legit shit. Juju Kaisen, yeah. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> Something yeah, no, like that. I, I, I caught some of that today. Apparently, have you heard about this soft guy era stuff? No. Okay, basically, it's guys have no thought. You know what? All these women going on fucking TikTok and talking shit about how they need shit for men. What if we did that in reverse? Like, what if you had guys going on and talking about all the icks they get from women and basically throwing all this shit back in their face? And hmm. apparently women have seen this shit and they're not realizing it's a parody of themselves and they're getting all upset. It's like... Oh, so you don't like it when we treat you as equals. Okay. <laughs> like, I get the ick whenever a woman says the word the. Like, ugh. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> shit. No, nah, but a funny one was like, <laughs> like, dudes in the fucking hardware store picking out headlamps. Woman comes up to him and asks the floor, like asks where the floor mats are, and he goes, "Do not approach a man in public, you creep." <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, it, like it, it's such a simple idea. But you, as soon as you see it, you start laughing. You're like, you know what? Fuck it. This is funny shit. Stand up for yourself, man. Don't let these hoes get close to you. Yeah, no, no. It's like, I did not invite you into this space. I am not here to meet people. I am here because I need to be. I do not consent. I do not consent. I, I do not, not consent. Cons I did not consent to this interaction. You know, F it. Just start pepper spraying them. <laughs> just, just. Yeah, yeah, guys, just start carrying mace. And if a woman comes up to you and just starts asking questions, just mace them down. Like, oh shit! I thought you were a gold digger. Back away. Bro, I had a farmer friend who would drive his like truck from work. He got done with work at like nine a.m. So he get to school late every day. And before, and as he left in a shitty old it was like a ranger what was it a toyota ranger i forget it's like a two-seater truck like she had a little truck and he see fat chicks in the high school he'd pull out his cattle prod and like proc it and be like get away get away my truck can't take any more large animals hitting it <laughs> well, i'm already maxed out of my insurance claim i can't afford this shit back the fuck up <laughs> it's a fucking cow catcher on the front <laughs> yes yes uh, well dude you know what I think we should just cover this when we have fresh energy and not at the end of the show because I'm still trying to get this guy to call in because uh, like a lot of his tweets don't have like look, this one has 24 million views should I just should we just do it now fuck it let me just do it now like, I've been teasing this for a while yeah Okay, let me Brock. Let me enter this. Well, let me drink some liquid courage. Wait, let me get let me get a firearm because it's fucking beans and shit. <sighs> Is it clear? It's clear. There we go. Okay, cool. Now the Brutas can breathe a sigh of relief as I shoot 10 9mm rounds at a spiritual entity that laughs at me before it decapitates me. There you go. <laughs> uh, 
but at least I'll die a fucking American. <laughs> That's all I'm concerned about. If I don't die with 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 ten empty shell cases next to me and a smile on my face and a raging boner. I will not allow myself. Do not bury me. Throw me to the vultures. I don't deserve to be placed in the earth. <sighs> okay, wait. So he didn't actually have beers. He had white claws. He's like, dude, I got some white claws because I know you like them. So he threw me a couple white claws. Uh, I, I swear to God. If Derek gets injured on the way home, I'm going to call up my friend who's in seminary. I'm going to call up my Jewish friend who is thinking about being a rabbi. And I'm going to call up every single religious organization. And we're going to walk through these woods and find this motherfucking demon. <laughs> Just going to go and get a fucking industrial grade bag of fucking salt we, we will salt every inch of these bloody woods to purify it. we do not care i will i will put a yoke on destiny and force him through every acre of these woods and call him a cuck every two seconds to make him cry and have salt deposited on every inch of this forest <laughs> you're gonna call it fucking ghost trackers like hey guys we're gonna fucking hunt a demon. Get your goddamn camera out here. Bro, it's the start of a horror movie. I get all the Griggas to come over to the property and like, hey, this pregame is demon hunt, and we all get high and drunk, and the demon just destroys us all. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like, where's I mean, my holy water? And pulls out like a bottle of Tito's vodka. Shit. <laughs> I mean, shit, we get that crap on video. At the very least, it'll be one hell of a fucking found footage movie. Yeah, oh, that'll be amazing. That would be a great found footage movie. A bunch of dudes set to hunt a demon, but they get too drunk and fuck up. <laughs> yeah, and they got all, like, surveillance footage and fucking They, like, release cams. it. They, like, release the demon, and they're all like, this can't get worse. And they're like, well... <laughs> You know, you just gotta I need some liquid courage to drink some more. They go back, they get the ritual area, and they like push the wrong guy in. It releases the demon's master demon. They're like, shit, we really fucked up now. <laughs> <laughs> like a slapstick humor. <laughs> when well, the first guy that dies doesn't know what to do, so he runs up the demon and just slaps it in the testicles and get incinerated instantly. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it'd be better way that, than most fucking horror first kills go. <laughs> Yeah, and then like that, you know, in the end of the movie, they like keep on effing up and they end up working for Satan. And they're like, we didn't want to do this. It's like, what? But you signed the blood contract. He's just like, yeah, because we were fighting each other over the last blunt and we spilled some blood on it. It wasn't intentional. <laughs> and then the movie ends with them fucking up Satan's plans. And he like erases hell. <laughs> the angel's just like, you have done what no, 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 nobody else can. He's like, finished an entire bottle of Tito's by myself. Yeah, I fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of movie I want to make, dude. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Screw holy water, get a priest to consecrate some sulfuric acid. Uh, yeah, that's kind of... Well, you can consecrate holy water and mix it with sulfuric acid. Although... I mean, like, okay, no, this would be a question to ask. Like, would the blood of Jesus burn demons? Because if so, you could just consecrate a crap ton of wine. Yeah, I guess that means if you're Catholic or not. Hmm. I mean, like, shit, I'm baptized Anglican. We still do fucking communion. So, hypothetically. Bro, let me get the let me get the leg off of a pew and then tie two of the big Baptist family Bibles to it. And I don't care what's coming at me. I'll kill it with one hit. Because <laughs> those things are like 50 pounds no, no, each. No, imagine you get like a fucking three-day old baguette. <laughs> Have a priest consecrate that as the flesh of Christ. And you use it as a club to beat Jesus. Like this is the fist of the son of God. And you're just beating their ass with a fucking old-ass baguette that's been consecrated. Dude, that will work. Why has that, that shit not been done? Like, is there not at least one movie where someone has beaten a demon to death with a loaf of bread that was fucking consecrated as the flesh of Jesus? <laughs> if not, that needs to be a thing. That 100% needs to be a thing. Give me a sec here. 
I'm gonna look at some texts this dude's dad sent me. Nah, nah, nah. So, no, nah, like you forge a sword and then you quench it in communion wine. That way you have a blood quenched sword that is quenched in the blood of Jesus. That, that's about as close to a freaking actual holy sword as you're going to get. <laughs> You guys Ooh. talking about was essentially what God Hand was? I, honestly, God Hand, I have a totally legitimate copy of that game. I really ought to play it. I think I got, got to get it to Chaz. I got the game to Chaz, and I think he played it for a bit, but... Yeah, no, that, that'd be the... 100%, 100% you just get, get some bread consecrated as the flesh of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and then you start beating demons... <laughs> to death with it. I like the idea of a bunch of drunks that have different drinks and like, you know, like tequila makes them like puke and do acid damage on the demons. <laughs> Vodka gives them raw strength. Beer makes them fatter so they take less damage. You know, they have a bigger health pool. And then Everclear like is like a 50% chance to take their health down by 90%, but a 50% chance to take your health down by 50%. <laughs> <laughs> just you know, is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? No, imagine like that's the thing. Like imagine you combine Doom with Left for Dead, but all your upgrades are Holy Spirits. It's just blessed alcohol. Very do not. Here's here's a um, here's a great game. I was thinking about. I've had the city for a while, so it's basically like I'm not sure if I make it third person. I think I make it. Mm, I think I make it third person because you do more animations and like you can do more cool stuff instead of just first person. Third person, squad based multiplayer shooter, RPG, like the Division 2. Hmm. And it's, you know, we'll call it maybe the Order. And it's a group, it's like a Christian elite force, or maybe not even Christian, like an anti demon elite force who fights different demonic intrusions, right? And so cultists demons anarchists satanists groomers you can have like 15 different cult factions and make them look completely different and you got three different classes right you got you know like the the SWAT team guys that come in and they're all they're 100 percent you know firearms physical damage the whole deal you got um like maybe radicals or believers they like have like a handgun but they have like, you know, like spiritual damage, like magic too. They're like the mid class or like DPS, whatever it is. And then you have religious men, priests, imams, rabbis, whatever it is. And they're like the, like the magic dealers slash healers. And you go with your boys and you fight demons together repeatedly. Just destroy them. There was one called, um, it's kind of, it kind of inspired off of, um, Hellgate London. Man, I wish those servers yeah. were up. Oh, okay. Honestly, no, you don't, because I've seen a review of Hellgate London. The gameplay fucking sucks because it's some EA level bullshit, but the concept is fucking amazing. I like the gameplay when I played it, but I was like a kid, so maybe I had a bad idea. But uh, yeah, I, Accursed Farms did like an in-depth review of it, and it gets super fucking grindy around the mid-game, bro. Every MMORPG gets super fucking grindy. Fair enough. <laughs> this is one of the people to keep playing. So, Night Vision Goggles says, make an atheist group for hard mode. Yeah, there would be like an atheist challenge. It's just SWAT members, so like no healing, no magical attacks. And it's just yeah, no, really fucking hard. No, no, no healing, no magic, no shield. A Mormon mode where you can't use consumables. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I should look in Godot and see what it takes because, like, I really like the concept of, like, um, Warhammer 40K's bolt, like, uh, bolt gun, whereas yeah. it was basically a fucking boomer shooter with a bunch hey, of two Soon it's going to be a HRT gun with it, how they're going. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no. Like, the amount of fucking, like, I'm straight up, like, stockpiling for a 3D printer. Games Workshop ain't getting another penny out of me. Yeah. Like, but uh, yeah, that's that's a whole fucking side tangent right there I could rant about. Okay, let's get to these AI checks. 
Okay, let me start. So we have this tweet from Bry AI. Now this guy is married, but he's designing AIs and an AI. Um, it's basically a sexual interface for men to have sex with their AI girl. It's basically what it is. It's like a depth reader from a, a pocket punity, whatever. You'll see it. And let's see how many subs he has now. 20K followers. So before this tweet, he didn't really have any. But this tweet had 25 or 24.4 million views, guys. 24 million views on this tweet. And he says, AI women are women. So let's see what this is about. And right now, right out of here, this woman hits me up when I'm 18 in high school. And she's a virgin. Says, I want to marry you and love you forever. Hook, line, and sinker, I'm gone. Just in the case now. 100%. Every single woman in this in this video is the same thing. So let's see. No. Yep. A bit yep. weird in the face, but if she's tomboyish and she's loyal, yep. No. Yeah. Eh. Maybe not this one. Looks like a thought. She just looks like a thought. Yeah, but no. you know, but like if it's just like you know, maybe she's into the fucking hairstyle shit. Yeah. Again, like we're talking, like you know, virgin, pleasant attitude. I mean, I just I'm can't imagine. I just can't imagine a virgin to have these tattoos and that hair. I just can't. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh yeah, I will let this Castizo abuse my white ass. Absolutely. <laughs> no. Middle Eastern, eh, I got something for like the brunette country girls, petite brunette country girls, which she's like looks Middle Eastern, but anyhow. No. Okay, now once you're like so far into the cyberpunk kind of aesthetic, it's like a dual distribution: country natural and girls, the the redhead girl with the tattoos, and but this girl, yeah, straight back up, yes. Yeah, yeah, like a eighteen year old me would have been like hundred percent over that shit. Oh yeah. Hmm. Look. Here it is. Now you get to swipe left. This guy's a marketing genius. <laughs> no, seriously. Like, now men have sexual power. Now you have power over your sex drive. This really calls himself Orifice AI. So this machine right here is a sensor that perceives how deep um, certain body parts are inside of it and can project it to an AI girl. So let's read what he says. He says he has the first tweet. Let me read this. The relationship between women and men is broken. I agree. The data shows that. Everybody knows it. I, I do think everybody kind of knows it's, it's effed up, right? The top 20% in the gene pool don't care. They don't. The top 20% of men don't care. The top 20% of women don't care. They don't have these problems. They'll pretend to care on YouTube shows to make money, but really they don't fucking care because they don't have that problem. And they, they can't empathize with men. Because how many chads do you know are actually friends with men in the bottom of 80%? How many chad? Honestly, how many chads do you know have friends? Like, honest friends. Like, you'll say they have friends, but, like, friends that you would consider I'll, friends. Okay, I, I'll be honest. I don't <coughs> even know that many chads because, like, I don't really include that shit in my fucking social circle. It's like, if you're not involved with my work or you're not involved with my hobbies, I don't know you. I knew a bunch of chads in my fraternity, and they would bang each other's girlfriends and fight each other. And they were friends, apparently. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he says they're not caring is genetic warfare mm, yeah no I could probably kind of agree with that because they listen guys everybody chads Tyrones betas incels women Stacy's Becky's whatever everybody relies on the constant labor of the bottom 80% of men everybody if men didn't fix toilets, if men didn't make toilets, Chad and Stacy would have to be digging a hole to take a shit. 
So they will they will force a system upon you, and you don't have the chance to spread your seed. All social action taking against, taken against Orifice, all protest, be it in the form of a tweet, article, legislation, will be gene warfare. Now, if you're using Orifice and you're banging AI girls and such, that has nothing to do with your genes. It's like sexual relief. That's what it is. Right, so maybe it's not gene warfare. It's definitely, I mean... If they're roasting you and attacking you because you're in the bottom of 80% of men, yeah, it's genetic warfare. But not like warfare off you not even to have kids. It's warfare because you're not a Chad or Stacy. Or you see, you're not a Chad or a woman. Well, and that's the thing. Like, what they're, like, gene warfare? I don't know. It's, it's more so, like, economic warfare. Because they're not mad at you because you're but not they're, adding. They're pursuing economic warfare against the bottom 80% of men, the bottom 80% of genes. And really, it's not even the bottom 80% of genes. It's the bottom 80% of genes that women don't like. So it's, even, it's not yeah. even actual eugenics. It's female eugenics, which, if you heard of runaway selection, for Sherian selection, you heard of that? Uh, no, actually, not, okay. uh, not something they caught. So it. runaway you selection. Get that far in bio. Runaway selection is a selection that gets kind of crazy and reduces the fitness of the organism. Fisherian selection is that in the terms of sexual selection. So, do you think a peacock, a male peacock's tail feathers make it easier or harder to run away from a predator? Harder. And I did actually think of that example when you mentioned that. Yeah, harder. So, Why do they have it, though? Because female peacocks are little bird sleuths. And they want the big feathers. That's why. So yeah, everything it would be like yeah, it'd be like if women all of a sudden being like, you know what? We only want fat dudes. We want the fattest dudes. The fatter you are, the more we want. You're like, okay, congratulations. Now only the morbidly obese reproduce, and the entire society is unfit to do any sort of manual labor. Mm -hmm. So everything comes down to reproduction. This is true. And we're going to take non-reproductive sex with human women off the table as a commodity. Here we go. That's that's the biggest part here. Once women, once we finally separate sex from childbirth or reproducing, I've said this before. Once AI wombs are developed and accessible to the average man, women are going to go extinct. There'll be some guys that will be with women, and there'll be sexual objects and such, but artificial intelligence that is at the same level of humans, you know, people can't conceptualize it, but great. There will come a time where there will be a supercomputer with a program that can produce a AI mind, an AI program that is just as unique, just as self-aware as a human brain. Well, I think, actually, you know, this was a thing I came up with like way back in the day when I was studying bio in university. Like, so, like, you know, proteins made out of like amino acids and shit, right? Yep. So the idea would be, what if we could make a steak that is completely indistinguishable from a regular steak, nutrition level, physical level, all that shit. But, you know, we made it out of like soybean amino acids. And then hypothetically, you could make a steak without having to, first of all, feed a fucking cow for a couple of years first. Mm -hmm. Well, OK, cows aren't going to go extinct. There's still going to be a demand for naturally made steak. But if you can make the 100 percent equivalent for cheaper, yep. you're not going to need it. That's gonna that would be biological women. Like they'd be a niche commodity. Mm -hmm. But they certainly wouldn't be the fucking mainstream. Yeah. So non-reproductive sex with human women is off the table as a commodity. It's gone. Can you imagine if the only reason men had sex with women was to have children? How much sex would happen? 
Bars will go out of business. OnlyFans will go out of business. Pornography, or maybe not pornography. Maybe not, you know, that kind of will beat the monkey. But dating apps go out of business. Coffee shops see massive declines in sales. All this stuff. Can't trade money for it. Can't trade a meal for it. You could spend hours contemplating the consequences of that. You can. Good, bad, it's going to end crime. Maybe not end crime, but it's going to severely reduce crime. Yeah, it's definitely going to have a... Like, a crime's going to go down. How much? Up for debate. But it will not increase as a result. It will decrease. It's going to wipe out job functions. Like, functions, like events out of jobs, maybe. Look, AI has already destroyed the labor marketplace for tons of different industries. Once you can replace women's interactions with a machine... I, I, it's such a large, massive change. I think that's a bigger change than the internet. Well, okay, but okay. Here, but here, here would be the even bigger aspect. Like, think about how much of just item sales, how much retail, how much just the transfer of money into physical objects is solely done. Like flower shops, for example flower shops are going to take a massive hit to revenue. There won't be flower shops anymore. If you want flowers for your mom, or for a woman, a wife, a mother, a brother, whatever, or funerals or weddings, you just go to the supermarket because there won't be enough that's, demand to keep flower shops open. Well, that's like, like, dre- like dresses, makeup. The, makeup the majority, it's like 70% of all, um, of all spending is done by women. And it's majority consumer goods. But I think, but like the that money largely comes, comes from, men. from men. Yeah, yeah. Men, so like, if men stop transferring that wealth to women, if if men if of- men don't give women sexual attention anymore, are women gonna give or put makeup on themselves? They say they do it for themselves, but do they? They don't. No, nah, at, at most. At most, they'll do it for social proof with each other, but that's still all about sexual competitiveness. So, it's going to wipe out job functions, but why? Because sex is about reproduction, and everything else breaks down when you break that. Now, biologically, yes. The reason why, when you zinc shot out of your window and hit a squirrel... The reason why when you zinc shot, it feels great because your body wants it to feel good to encourage it. So you pass down your genes. Once you completely reproduce the female sexual experience of the man, straight sexual experience, whatever it is. And it's just you have to make a logical, conscious choice. I want to have a kid. Society is going to rapidly change. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be nuts. They say, he says, our roles don't make sense. Our institutions don't make sense. Nothing makes sense. When men stop seeking non-reproductive sex from human women, it's going to lead to an increase in reproductive sex, and it's gonna save the world. Maybe not that. I'm not sure. It's gonna lead to an increase of reproductive sex. As a percentage of sex, perhaps. Yeah, as a percentage, yes. Let's see what the uh, comments say here. When you tech bro too close to the sun. (laughs) Says Mr. Metagame. Okay, Metagame. For some reason, I don't feel like I'm winning after swiping and banging a hole with a screw top. Well, he is just... This guy's business is one rudimentary piece of a much larger puzzle. Right? Right? Yeah. Now, if there's any if there's any flaw here, it's that it does not provide the vasopressin. Like I'd be willing to bet that this probably doesn't provide a vasopressin release, which is the gap between toys and dolls. Like, but if it did, but if you could actually cross that gap. Well, it's like saying like a fuel injector doesn't supply traction on the tires. 
the different parts. This is, look, every single avenue that increases male sexual freedom, I'm 100% behind. So oh, the last yeah. the last part of this whole replacing women process is the hormonal, pheromonal, biological part because that's the most complicated because we don't really know that much about it. But if you can replicate, like, look, you put this system into a sex bot, you wear Google glasses or whatever it is, and as you're banging your sex bot that looks like a real woman or an anime girl, you look down and there's x-ray vision of you, you know, banging this chick. You can't tell me that's going to not be more satisfying than getting with an average Western woman. Oh, no, 100%. Like, I'm thinking that the logical step here is that you find your preferred waifu by going through all this AI stuff, and then you use that AI model to create the actual sex bot with it, combine this tech with, like, your sex doll sex bot, whatever, bam, done. It's fucking done. And look, we got the groomer files here. Antonius says, bro, these look like teenagers in a room in their parents' house. Who would search for this prompt? 18-year-olds are sexy. Fight me, simp. <laughs> like, you didn't call them children. You said teenagers. 18, 19. Hmm. Let, let's be honest. This chick doesn't look like she's 12. This nope. chick isn't 13. She's not 14. She's not 15. She's 16 to 19. Okay. 16, 17. No, no. 18, 19. Yes, yes. So it's calling them teenagers and attacking the male sex drive makes you look like a little bitch boy. Doesn't make me look like a groomer. I thought this was a joke. Then I visited the website. What the F? Says Sonic <laughs> from the underground. Gotta go fast. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Shut up, Sonic Furry. <laughs> AI women will never be real women. Western women will never be real women. <laughs> this is high peak incel behavior. 32 year old Blasian. Oh, no, I followed her. You know, I'll follow her at Roadster later. What's your body count? At this point, whenever I want to make a woman feel bad, I ask her what her body count is. Exactly. <laughs> Orphis really couldn't come up with anything better than Orphis. Who marketed this and are they fired yet? The same guy with a six, what, a half a million view video you're engaging with. That was five days ago. Now it's 24 million. This guy said, a nemesis says, I can't wait till they make this a reality. No more rejection, ghosting, or flaking. A beautiful woman that's programmed to be submissive and feminine. Ah, a man can only dream. See, most men will think that, but they don't want to say it because they still want to try to get Puniti. If you say that, you won't get Puniti. Ah, uh, well... <laughs> Well, well most guys, <laughs> when they say that, won't get Puniti. <laughs> most guys, yes. 80% of the population that says that won't get Puniti. Real women aren't hard to talk to. Well, have you ever divorced one? No, no, no. no. They're, they're not hard to talk to, but they certainly are hard to listen to. <laughs> it's giving human trafficking. What? What? Jellyfish, will this mean you'll finally leave us alone? You are probably too ugly to catch my attention anyway. <laughs> the world would be better off without people like you. What language is that? Is that is it German? No, I don't know. Dot says what? <laughs> I'm, having I'm having fun here, bro. 
Does your mom clean the orifice after you're done? Does your mom clean your puniti after the train? <laughs> These girls are not real women. Real women cheat on you. These women don't. Bro, bros couldn't even remove the runway watermark from the advertisement. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Ian Miles Chong says, that thing you did, Kamala, made me laugh my ass off. Don't even know what that was about. You going to hell, brah. Eh, this should be banned, says Roko. Radical centrist, transhumanist. Wait, 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 wait. The trans, wait. The quote, transhumanist is pussy hurt over AI sex bots. You are a lubite. You know what lubite is? Uh, I, I'm familiar with the term of luddite. Not oh, luddite. I finally fucked it up. Oh, well. Oh, well. You can call me dumb. You guys can call me dumb. I'm going to end this segment with a meme. Are you ready? Yeah. This is why this is why this is going to work. From involuntarily celibate.il. <laughs> this is this is why it's going to work. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> hey, like, I, I saw this right after I was looking at that, that tweet, so I had to add it together. <laughs> yeah. AI girlfriends won't divorce you. They won't take your kids away. They won't do any of that shit. They won't call you an incel. Unless you want it to, and then, well, you know, you keep that that stuff based to yourself. If you want to support the show, if you want to support the channel, consider subscribing to Grey Ghost. He makes AI generated red pills. If you want to support the war band on a deeper level, the same way you might deeply support the Orifice AI system, consider donating to Cash App. Cash Shine Under Chronic. That's Cash App. Cash Shine Under Chronic. It's been Under Chronic, guys. Take it easy. I knew you'd like that uh that segment. Oh, that was good shit. That was good shit. <laughs> yeah, it was just well just seeing the people re over it is is just enough of in itself. Oh, it is. And it's quite simple. It's like, look, men are walking away from all this bullshit because they're continually subject to abuse. So what's your response? Oh, abuse them further. Yeah, yeah, because that's going to fucking work. It's not, but they'll try. Well, that's all they know. It's like people who only have the stick don't even conceptualize the idea of a carrot. Is that like an orange stick? <laughs> uh, have you played yeah, the new... Cool. um? New Conan patch? Uh, honestly, no, no, I haven't. Those were hyenas night. chasing you at night? Oh god, no, no, I haven't caught that shit. Bro, me and my friend, we play on a modded server, and um, we give ourselves double health, like fifty percent damage boost, really like a lot of resource boost and a lot of like stamina boost and running boost, so we can like run around the map faster and not spend so much time grinding resources. But um, the game was built to like combat. Now you could solo bosses, but it takes forever. But like you're supposed to go through like with a group of like three to four, right? So it's so me and my friend playing. And I guess the biggest mod difference, which towards the end game we saw how it was like kind of OP, was the you can have three um, followers following you. So it's me and my friend and six thralls suited up. 
but it was still a ton of fun because I wanted to explore the game world and such. But uh, we were doing the purges, the new purges, and we summoned a level 10 purge. We did like the level 7, the level 8, level 9. We slowly lost thralls and thralls and thralls. Summoned level 10. And bro, the last thing I saw was these fucking Stygian bitches walking out of my base with fucking chests of gold, bro. <laughs> Dude, I came back and I got like 50 Cimmeranians, right, from the Mounds of the Dead. Yeah, 50 Simzerkers going ham. I got like five Simzerkers, but I got like 50 other Cimmeranians. And I put them all in dragon armor. Oh, shit. Give me, give me a sec. I got to talk to someone real quick. Uh, I'll see chat. It's like, can you get a harem in Conan Exiles? I mean, you can have as many thralls as you theoretically mod in, but like you can have a crap ton of thralls, even as a solo player. And there's nothing stopping you from making them all all women, making them all dancers, and putting them all in the skimpiest clothes you can you can find. Like, there's nothing stopping you from having a harem, but you know, there's also no 18 plus animations. So it'd be 100% RP based. But no, like you could hypothetically have just a massive, hey, you could have all Sim Zerkers, all women, and they could just be bodying everything. So, yes, I guess. It's a hard C Sumerian? It's Kimarian, not Cimmerian? Hold on, hold on. I gotta look this up. I mean, I actually do care enough about Conan lore. Let's see, Cimmerian? Um... I don't know. Sotnar, are you sure? What I'm finding is that it's actually pronounced like a soft C, not a hard C. I I mean, like, if you're willing to, like, show me some sort of source that says, yes, it's pronounced Chimerian, not Cimmerian, then, yeah, 100%, I'll go for it. But I don't know. I can't find anything backing that up. Yeah, Sumerian, Sumerian. Yeah, the best part is when the ad says, now you can be the one who swipe up. You know that shit's struck a nerve with the feminist sword. <laughs> well, no, that's... Uh, okay, well, that's it. It's not... It doesn't just strike a nerve with the s'mores. It also strikes a nerve with the male feminists. Because, okay, like... Imagine for a second that you're a guy who has sacrificed God knows how much of your fucking dignity to get something. And then some dude comes along and says, hey, you don't need to sacrifice that kind of dignity. A bunch of guys will go, no, 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 fuck you sacrificing the dignity is a part of it because they want to justify the amount of dignity they sacrifice. It's like, no, no, you, you didn't need to do that. Because I was like, you run into these fucking male feminists and they're like, like fucking like calling incel. I was like, dude, just because you needed to sacrifice your fucking pride to get some puniti does not mean that I need to sacrifice my pride. You chose to make that sacrifice because it was worth it to you. It ain't worth it to me. I found alternatives or I decided that shit wasn't necessary. Whether you call it a crabs in a bucket mentality or what, it's the same basic principle. They need their sacrifice to be justified. Otherwise, it hurts their ego because they realize they've been fucking fools retroactive justification exam exactly 
that they didn't know a better way. And so to justify why they took the long, painful route, they decide to try to shame everybody else into taking the same painful route they did. And it's completely, completely destructive. Yeah, it's sunk cost fallacy, yes. You think, hey, because I spent this much on this thing, it must be worth it. It's like, no. No, no, it wasn't worth it. It never was worth it. You spent way too much on something that wasn't worth that much. That doesn't mean that everybody else has to spend that much. It just means you're an idiot and you should be learning how to get the same shit for cheaper rather than trying to shame other dudes into having to pay just as much. You need every guy to simp so they can feel about like pathetic pansies. Precisely. They need other guys to be just as bad or worse than them because they need to satiate their ego. Otherwise, they have no choice but to feel bad about themselves because, well, they fucked up. They sacrificed way too much and got too little out of it. And the idea that someone can sacrifice less to get just as good or more is abhorrent. It's also a hard C in Scythian. Scythian is pronounced Kythian. And the Y should be pronounced a bit like a U. So it's like Kuthian. So it's spelt like Scythian, like Scythe. But it's pronounced Kuthian. Really? 90% positive. Check for sources to send you later. Uh, I mean, yeah, Sotnar, like, like you send me that kind of stuff. Like, I'm curious. You, you've got me interested. I just, you know, I'd, I'd want to see something because I, much, much as I do take your word as serious, I, I'd like to see like some sort of source to back it up. That's all. It's pronounced Sunti. <laughs> we run on water now. Uh, thoughts on lollies. <sighs> I mean, like, if you want my thoughts on the lollies, step one is that we got to define what the heck a lolly is. Because, like, look, if it is a petite woman with a flat chest over the age of 18. What's the issue? Because guess what, guys? There are petite women with flat chests over the age of 18. But then again, you also have guys calling fucking Uzaki-chan, who is canonically... 21. Yo, man, don't make, don't call me a groomer for being in love with a canonically 10,000 year old demon lolly, bro. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, you got fucking Uzaki chain who's got massive fucking tits to the point where her fucking iconic t shirt is Sukhoi Dekai. She's 21, drinking fucking booze, and people are, and there's fucking dudes on Twitter going like, oh no. Her fucking eye to head ratio. She's petite. That's she just anime, dumbass. <laughs> That's, just That's anime. the thing. It's like, it's like, dude, unless she's <laughs> no, and then there's other people pointing out, like, oh, look at the head to body ratio. She's clearly a child. And then they pull out like the fucking granny from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends who has the same head to body ratio is like, behold! Whoa. A child! You know what's like funny? All these people who attack men sexual straight men's sexuality go on to their fucking you go on to Kotaku. What are they doing? They're slobbering over male sex objects. They're slobbering over teenage boys in video games. That's what they do. Well, no, the the fucking crazy thing is these same people on Twitter. Like, I don't know if you ever watch any of Rev says death stuff, but like, as soon as someone starts slandering lollies on Twitter, the first thing you do is you check what their public likes are, and ninety percent of it is fucking hardcore lolly shit. Yeah. Well, honestly, like, look, 
if dudes want to beat it to cartoon images, 2D images, right now, right now as I'm speaking, there are at least 10,000 men beating off to an image of a horse having sex with an apple. At least 10,000. People have fetishes. They're weird. As long as they don't translate that to real life, we're all good. Now, Vosh... Vosh is actually abusing horses. So, we'll make the next horse video. But great. Let me get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Chronic. No Appreciate problem, man. Hey, I'll talk to you later, dude. All right. Peace out. Peace. Y'all have a good night, Warband. Then there was one. One Warband, one Warrior. If you want to support the show, consider donating to Cash App. Cash on under Chronic. If you listen to the end and you got three and a half hours of entertainment and you want to show your support, consider donating to Cash App. Cash on under Chronic. It's been under Chronic, guys. Take it easy.